Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to um, Visigoths versus Mogoths, episode two. About two Earth years later, here we are. I'm so excited to play this game again. Uh, before we get into all of my lovely friends and this lovely game, uh, I just want to say thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to support us, see us on Twitter, um, Instagram, Patreon. We have all kinds of weird things going on over there. We also, of course, have Discord that is even weirder than the three things I just mentioned. Um, I think that's, yeah, I don't have any announcements, but does anyone else have any announcements? Yeah, I just want to say that uh, I am wearing some sweet Street Wolf swag that was sent to us by our friends at Table Cat Games. We all received a a little bit of something. Um, I want to remind everyone that Street Wolves is out. It came out February 6th. Uh, we're not currently going to be showing this on February 6th, but it's out. So go catch it. It's a really fun game. We'll eventually be running it. I suggest you get it. All right. Wonderful. Um, okay, cool. So, oh, I want to talk about Visigoths versus Small Goths as a game. First, for anyone that has never seen this game be played or has never even heard of this game, um, it's relatively new. It's created and distributed by wonderful, queer, talented TTRPG writers, specifically Lucian Khan. We want to give a shout out to them um, because without their work, we would not be here this morning. So yeah, it's super simple system. Um, everything we're going to be rolling is 2d6s. Characters cannot die. There will be no actual death in this game. And the mall sort of exists in a parallel dimension where you can't technically leave. I encourage you all to try, but you can't. No. Uh, so the whole game is going to take place in a mall, very much 80s and 90s uh, before malls sort of died off. So I encourage you all, as you're watching this, to get very nostalgic, as you can see behind me and the way that we all look and behave. <laughs> <laughs> I will now uh, kick it to my friends to introduce themselves. Let's do alphabetical order. Why do I? What? What? Can, why, 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 why do we always got to do alphabetical order? Why do I always got to be first? <laughs> we can do reverse alphabetical order. You first. <laughs> Play the left, bud. <laughs> I'm I'm Aaron, and this is very unfair. And I'm playing to dig this close. <laughs> Hands down, one of the most difficult names I've ever had to type down. <laughs> you really oh. found the hardest one. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm Allegra, and I'm playing uh, Theo Denanda, or just Theo. I'm Amanda, and I am playing, was it Brunhilda? Brunhilda? Now it's just B. It's B. <laughs> <laughs> or B H B B is mostly it. <laughs> I'm Caleb James Miller, and I'll be playing Apex Bone Gnaw, better known as Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you did it! <laughs> uh, I'm Eli, and I am playing uh, Bliss. <laughs> I'm Sergio, and I'm playing Lenore. And I am Zach, and I will be your mall rat for this moment in time. Um. If we are ready to begin, I will set our first scene, uh, which is usually early morning at the mall. However, it is summer 1990, <laughs> which means that it is way too hot and way too early to be around in the mall in the morning. We're going to begin our story in early afternoon at Floppy Joe's Cyber Chili, where we have known both the Visigoths and the Goths to hang out very often. Um, if we can go around, I have some questions for all of you guys. This scene's going to kind of be our establishing session zero sort of session. So everyone bear with us. Um, but I'm going to ask you uh, to describe the way your character looks. Has anything changed since we last played together? And where are you planning to go after the summer is over? This is kind of the last summer before whatever happens after high school. So what happens for you all? I will kick it to, honestly, let's popcorn. Because, Aaron, I understand that you're oppressed in this February month. <laughs> let's it to uh, Sergio. Okay. Or Lenore to start us off. So, Lenore has definitely had a costume change in the last two years. Last time we saw her, I believe Lenore was a lot more goth, like fishnets, black on black on black. 
um, black eyeliner, you know, the whole thing. I think that the makeup has remained traditional goth, but I think that the clothing has become a little bit more... Uh, she is a theater tech, and so I think it's looking a little bit more like black overalls with maybe like a dark blue shirt, you know, long sleeve. Um, she's been known to carry around tools. There's almost like a little bit of a... Um, I think as she's had a relationship with Theo Denanda as well, I think she's come into a little bit more of a of a tomboy, I guess, is a way of saying it. Like, she was super, super girly and goth at one point, and now has kind of just like, I don't know, almost like embraced the two halves of her. And there's just something a little bit more professional in that kind of working sense. And she is definitely like dead set on going to a school where she can learn you know lighting for theater and special effects and uh seems very gung-ho to one day work uh you know on on broadway or something like that uh you know on like cool dark shows like you know jekyll and hyde or fucking you know <laughs> let or something instead yeah. of something more amazing humble gum poppy but um uh yeah otherwise lenore is uh yeah that's it Okay, then we'll we'll kick it to Theo, and I'll let you guys both chime in on this. Are you two still together? Also, it's complicated. I think, yeah, it's <laughs> it's been a little awkward lately. Theo does we not are, understand. It's complicated. Right. We are oh. still technically in a relationship. Yes. Yes. Oh. Technically. Okay. Another word I don't understand. <laughs> okay, Theo, how you feeling? How you looking? Theo has not changed physically whatsoever, except for that their hair is longer. <laughs> Theo <laughs> refuses to embrace the fashion of, of the 90s. They're still obsessed with hip hop and rap music. They think it is verbal poetry, which it is. Um, and they, they're they experimenting with makeup a tiny bit, but they are still very aggressively, I am a Visigoth. It does not matter where I am. I am still a Visigoth. Um, but they did find um, the school's rugby team um, and found a way to be a warrior in the present day. Uh, so they have been, the word is scouted for a rugby team at a college. I don't understand what that means or what I'm supposed to do there, but I get to fight other people. So that is good. Feels good. Good. Thank you. Um, okay, let's kick it to uh, Brent Hilda. <laughs> um, Brent Hilda has definitely, definitely embraced the 90s culture i mean everything is like you'll see the bright shirt they even have sports memorabilia they don't they just saw they thought football was a thing you could ch chop off feet but it's just a bunch of people tackling each other so it's what they take it and they have a bunch of different socks they quote tv shows that's how they learned a little bit but they get it slightly off and they have a glorious glorious fanny pack is for where you can hold the weapons and any other things you need. It's very useful. Do you keep, somehow, do you keep Britney Spear in the fanny pack or where is that? Ah, uh, the spear of Britney is always uh, attached because it is a glorious piece. But uh, think of it like, uh, like Donatello and the Ninja Turtles. It's always like on the back. My favorite Ninja Turtle. Brent Hilda. I, read, I like Donnie. He's very smart. <laughs> I learned a lot of lessons from those brothers. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, then we'll kick it to the other side of this couple. Apex, how you feeling? Uh, Apex has been good, man. Um, <laughs> he is actually thriving. Like uh, He's in his element and he's looking towards the future. He's about to go off to college. Uh, he recently qualified for a NASA scholarship to attend MIT. Um, and he's waiting back on an acceptance letter for whether that goes through or not. Uh, he's just really trying to embody uh, this new life he's about to have. 
Uh, he's been very happy with Bren, and being with Bren has uh, brought out a new quality to him. He's not quite uh, a top or anything like that anymore. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's just gained a newfound confidence that has brought a new layer to Apex. But recently he started thinking about how finite the world is when you're going off to college. And he's questioning things. He's questioning a lot of things. Uh, physically, he's changed his look because he felt he was too uh, forward presenting in his past. And so he's become a very fashionable furry. Uh, and he even added a little bandana to let people know he's a cool wolf. Not a lame wolf. I think, okay. Uh, and I think that him and Bren have been together, uh, been very happy. He's been showing Bren television. Uh, he despises that Bren is into football, but allows it. Uh, it was purely because it means that Bren will tackle him on request at any time. Yes. Um, and uh, somehow the socks just really get him going. Um, he likes the feel of the fabric. Um, and they've taken to spending a lot of time together. Almost every night he curls up at her feet. Amazing. I'm going to take this time now as a mall rat to say that this is the summer after high school. So everyone's going to be 18 because based on the words you just said to me, it's better that everyone is 18. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, it does look like Apex and Bran are still together and they're, they're happily together. We fucking... Great. Yeah, I'm so glad I said that. And we're gonna call me 18, Zach. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> we're gonna go to uh, <laughs> Bliss. Um, Bliss has not necessarily changed, but just elevated and upgraded themselves. Um, so they're just now like ascending into the true goth form that they were always meant to be. Um, <laughs> so you know, usual get of like you know. Uh, leather jacket like it's summer but you know leather jacket pants boots you know um she's got uh fancy shades for uh you know to keep the sun out um but other than that nothing has relatively changed for a bit bliss um sweet sweet and lastly food how you feel digs is close it is not that it hard. <laughs> but I, 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 do, I don't think I've changed in any substantive way. Uh, I think I am very much dedicated to the old ways and maintaining the semblance of our great culture. We are, after all, the ones who defeated the Romans in the forest. And that is a legacy worth living up to. So it is my, I have made it my duty in life to resurrect the old Germanic religion. I'm calling it Neo-Germanism, and I am ready to spread it to the world. My intention is to go from town to town, village to village, hamlet to hamlet, spreading the good word of Walden and his murderous ways. Thank you, Deacon. Thank you so much for that. Um, I, have, I now have several follow-up questions <laughs> for every... Um, so, okay, so it looks like Thude is leaning into it, into everything that a Visigoth is. How does that affect your relationship between Theo and Bren? Because it seems like Bren is fully doing the opposite thing. Are y'all still cool? How are the Visigoths feeling as a unit? I am pretending to be cool with Bren Hilda, but deep down, I am very depressed that they are abandoning their culture. They used to be such a mighty symbol of our ways. They were our greatest warriors, and now look at them. <laughs> Their visage has completely been destroyed. Once a proud Visigoth warrior, and now this. <laughs> I still have not forgiven to Jagskis Close for dabbling in the capital G OD God. I said I'm and sorry, I sister. I'm sorry. An apology does not forgive going toward the Romans. And in the words of Cher, as if talk to the hand. 
Speaking of yes. dabbling in the capital G God, uh, Thud, are you still um, sneaking the around with Benedict? Close. I'm sorry, what did you say? Are you still <laughs> sneaking around with the Catholic boy that runs the Christian bookstore? Ooh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Benedict? <laughs> let's, let's say yes. Yes, let's yes. say yes. <laughs> okay, lovely. Thank you. Okay, my... I, I forgot. Are you hooking up with the Catholic boy? I don't boy think... No, I think I'm just really fascinated with, with, his, whole, with his whole shtick. He tells me, okay, he tells it, me about the... the, the he, it would be less shameful if you were fucking. He introduced me to the <laughs> John of the be Foreman. Less and he has, she has <laughs> most, most, most magnificent, most magnificent hair. Okay, I do want to clarify that Apex told everyone that somebody was giving somebody sloppy toppy, and I we didn't address that again. I know who it is. Okay. <laughs> Great. I think we all do. You can work out the truth of that between the three of you. Uh, while you're doing that, I will move on to my Mogoths. Uh, it looks like some of these notes that I have about last session have no context anymore. <laughs> Half um, this game is just going to be <laughs> re-trumpeting what the hell we did last session. Honestly, no. Um, okay, but as a unit, Mogoths, do you guys feel that you're all still friends? Um, I want to... One of the things we left off at was Apex was level four, or at like the fourth <laughs> member of the team. I, I forgot about the levels. <laughs> yeah, if there's been a promotion. Wait, he didn't get up? That's up to Bliss whether there's been a promotion. I mean, two years? That yeah. that has to require... If we're still together, yeah. We're, we're still probably, together, yeah. yeah. You, you have to be no at least number three now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. C congratulations. I'm coming uh, for that two spot. I beat I the invisible third member. <laughs> I think we're okay for the most part. I think that Lenore is probably struggling the most out of everybody with the fact that she's going to be going away to college. Like, she sees that Bliss, like, is still basically the same Bliss that she was two years ago. And that, like, bothers her a little bit, but she's not going to say anything about it. But I think she's feeling it. But I think everything's copacetic as long as they're all hanging out and stuff at the mall. We always have the mall. We always have the mall. Yeah, I, I think that uh, Apex sees a little bit of weakness in Lenora being afraid of going off to college and like, you know, that, that sort of forward movement and, and senses uh, an unseen tension between the two and thinks he can use that momentum to climb up <laughs> and rank. Um, so... But he's, he's also in the same boat as Lenore, where he's like realizing that he has to be a, a real person after this summer. And so he's really like forward thinking. He's trying to think of the furry he's got to be tomorrow, not the furry he's got to be today. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Um, okay, lovely. While you all, uh, I will start you all off in Floppy Joe's Cyber Chili Cafe. Um, like I said, it's late afternoon or early afternoon. Uh, you all have been coming to the mall. After all, you always have the mall a little later in the dog days of summer, uh, but we're coming towards the end of it. We've got a few more weeks and Floppy Joe comes up to you. Actually, are you all sitting together or are you sitting in your separate groups? I think together. I think together. Yeah. Likely. Yeah. There's enough crossover. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah, we're the really annoying fucking table of theater kids at Denny's at yes. 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yes. And like, I'd we like push to be... two tables together. And I would like to be scratching Apex's ear. I'm like completely cuddled up into the patterned shirt like underneath and nuzzling on the, the neck of Bren. You guys are getting okay. hair on the food. Um, could you not? <laughs> Usually dogs sit on the floor. Usually. Wow, this is like a part of my culture. So if you're just like speaking against my identity, we're gonna have like serious issues because this is a lot more than just me. And it, it's who I and am. And it is a part of our culture that the dogs live out on the street and fend for themselves. He is not a dog. He is a wolf. Great, the forest, you, even then further we kill away. kill wolves. <laughs> that is what we do with wolves, we kill them. And then wear their pelts as a suit. Brother understands. Well, I mean, 
we have been here for a while. Seems like you two just need to adapt better. That's what mm. all warriors do. <clears throat> mm. yeah, At least maybe... I still fight. Well, maybe B's right. Maybe you guys have been here for a while. It's time to, like, you know, find some new digs. But perhaps it is time to conquer. I'm taken. Here we go. <laughs> as soon as you say that. <laughs> I'm kind of just kind of zoned out and just like kind of like let them be bitchy. I'm enjoying my life. You hear the sound of a vacuum, a very, very loud old vacuum um, that is steadily getting louder as it's like approaching the table. I'm Richard um, and Britney Spears. Like that noise scares me a little bit. You hear um, an old older black man say, no spears, we've already talked about this. And it is our boy Floppy Joe. Floppy! Hello, Floppy Joseph. Hey, kids. Floppy Joseph, as if. What I'm not other? just gonna sit here and uh, pretend like I'm uh, not hungry, so I'll order a Floppy Joe if you don't mind. Joe. Yeah, Joe's, Joe's all around, I assume. No, um doesn't really work with my diet. Uh, could I get a steak as rare as you can get it? I've got a hunger that can't be matched. Mm -hmm. We don't. I'm going to point to the side and I want you to read it. This is Floppy Joe's Cyber Chili. We got yep. chili. We got Floppy Joe's. Yeah, but you got to make the chili out of some kind of meat, right? Yeah. You know what? You know what? We actually did have a recent change to the menu. And he looks at the Visigoths. Last time, when you guys first got here, you complained about not having mice on the menu. And I can't do that, because this is where food is. <laughs> but I did have sort of a, a second weird option that might appeal to some of you more primal people. And it is just ground turkey. Ooh. That's as the only. As raw as it comes. Fresh off the bird? Yes. You this, ground the meat of a bird. Hmm. This fresh ground meat that is fresh that I have for you. Eating a ground bird sounds dangerous. It sounds like like what like I don't want to eat the feathers, you know? No. There's no, no, no. there's no feathers. But you said you ground yeah, up the bird. Yeah, the meat of the bird. You take the meat out and you grind it and you but then what happens Take What it. happens to the rest of the bird? That seems awfully wasteful, Floppy of the Joe. A good question. I don't know. Theo, we went over this last uh, mm. 4th of July, okay? It's just ground meat. It's not a big deal. If you want some, eat it. Ground? But it sounds like it's been on the ground. It had. I thought you weren't supposed to eat things that came off the ground. You told me this. You know what? They're kind of getting to me. Could you bring the feathers, too? <clears throat> you want the feathers? Yeah. <sighs> okay. And Floppy Joe goes back <laughs> and he's, you know, you're lucky that certain people stopped in today and puts what looks like, uh, like Michael's feathers, like craft feathers. He just like sprinkles them on the plate, like garnish and delivers them to you. Ah. Some glitter scouts dropped these off this morning. So I guess the, those are your feathers. Is this a particular bird? Like, is this a fancy turkey because it, it has multiple colors yeah it's the new turkeys the new turkeys what did you do with the old ones they no longer live that's probably what i would do. yep exactly what she said <clears throat> they no longer live do you guys are you good can i these I are guess, good i guess this will subside my hunger for now okay wa watch out for me floppy joe i may need some uh servings but Joe, okay. and he starts fucking just going ham on the plate. No hands, like mouth straight to the plate. Okay. Joe, before you I go, got... I have a question. Yeah. What? Hurry what up. is it that you do? I'm I'm so curious. What is it that you do that makes the Joes so floppy? Oh well, I could. I guess I, I I take it right and I put it in a bag with the seasonings and stuff, and then I just kind of. <gasps> you know. And that sort of gets them where they need to be. 
That's Usually, I don't have time for that now because it's the lock-in tonight. But that's you're, what I you're like. You're showing to do. good form, by the way. That's a good form when you Thank actually you. need to take off multiple like heads of your mm. enemies. That's a good form, right? There. Yeah, that's what Bren does with my body. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you Theo, yes. you don't have to raise your hand. Yes, it's all the time. Wait, Locked. Joe, did you say there was a lock-in? Yes, that is my question as well. Yeah, the Glitter Scouts lock-ins tonight. That's why I got to make all these sandwiches. All these little kids are going to be running around here overnight, and they never bring enough food, and suddenly it's up to the mall to make sure they don't oh. die. I remember when my mom wanted me to be a Glitter Scout. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. yeah, it's... What do Glitter Scouts do? What is a Glitter Scout, Zagia? <laughs> yeah, no, okay. <laughs> Can I have... Uh... Actually, no, you guys don't have to roll for it. You can like see the. Yeah, the, basically, it's a form of like Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts combined together. They are a bunch of little kids in purple glitter sashes that go around selling cupcakes. Um, and this is their one little like end of summer event where they are locked into the mall overnight. I'd never wear one of those dumb sashes. Maybe me look like an idiot. Yeah. More Man, I'd love usual. to flip one of their trays. I mean, I, I mean, I want to. I, I want to support them. I, maybe I'll give them some money. <laughs> well, they're yeah. all over the place selling cupcakes. They're going to try to get as much as they can before the mall actually closes. So if you see one. <gasps> Lenore, you got money? I mean, I've been working a little bit on the side. Yeah. Saving up for college and stuff. She has done hard work. She is good at this. Shit. Where, where you been working? Um, mostly at, uh, Dracula Video on the side once in a while, because, you know, I love movies and stuff. I was actually going to say, Theo, if you wanted, I, I wanted to pick up something at Dracula Video if you wanted to come with me later. Mm. Life without dreaming is a life without meaning. Shit. Is that another rap lyric? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're really good at keeping that up, and yet rejecting modernity at the same time. Yes, that is <laughs> the only thing I like about this world. Very gangster of you. Thank you. That's what I like about I you. I have heard that gangster is a good thing. You are also a gangster. Actually, if you kids are both gangster and don't have anything to do for the afternoon, can I ask you to go to FETA for me? I just want to see what they're doing to get prepared. That's we right. just, yeah. Uh, we don't work for you, Joe. Uh, is there something you could give us in return? Yeah, the mall. If we don't pull this off, if these kids don't go to sleep and wake up with the same amount of people that were alive as the kids that went to sleep. They're going to shut the mall down. Not <gasps> forever, but no. it's just... They shut they, down the mall? This seems they, like a really risky venture to, to risk the entire mall over this. They should hold it somewhere else. It's not normally, but the air conditioner's been kind of weird lately, and they don't even want to hold the lock-in. They think that the mall's not safe for anyone to be in, and if this goes badly, it'll just prove them right, and they'll shut them all down until they're- Who are these fixed. Who are these raiders that threaten to come down, come and, and, and shut down this glorious mall? Yes, because I want to tell them to take a chill. <laughs> where- Like the city. Where is this city? Point them out, and they shall be dead. Where is the city? Mm. Who is the city? He points- Oh. Well, first it's the mall boss, and then, like, the commerce person, whatever their name is. I don't even know. But Do they have an works office in... at the mall? Well, they, they might. Do they have a name? <sighs> yeah. Um, you want to look for Evans? Evan. Evans. I don't know their first name. They just go by Evans. Is there, like, a Sharpie pen, like, near, near you? Well, exactly. I think... I think you have a collection of like gel pens oh, I will. around yes, you at all take times. Them out of my fanny pack, and I'm gonna write Evans just on the arm. Wait, no, B. He don't is scar on... your skin like that. Use me, and Apex gives him <laughs> his forehead. I will write Evans on his forehead, <laughs> and then Thank I will you, go mistress. ahead. Thank you, mistress. I will do a little kiss on it. I mean, <laughs> my God, the thought of a world without malls, like, it impossible. We have to make sure tonight goes off without a hitch. Yes. We will find this it's... Evans, and we will blood eagle him for all to see. What's a okay. blood eagle? Oh, you do not want to know. Okay. It sounds pretty <laughs> sick. I kind of want to know. Okay. So. Do you know that Dracula movie? <laughs> yeah. It's the worst. 
Oh, well, that that they just okay. stick. Uh, they, that that yes. So what you do <laughs> is you place a person on their knees, and okay, sick. you been there before. Bind, Am I right? You bind their hands behind their back, and then you take a very long blade and you split their back uh, open. And you remove oh both of their lungs and place them up on their shoulder. And then oh, that's way they less slowly fun than I they slowly suffocate. And no, it's actually a very merciful way to execute someone because if they do not scream, hmm. if they do not cry out in pain uh, for help or for mercy, uh, then they have a chance at uh, entering the glorious afterlife. If they do cry out, hmm, then they are damned. Is this the kind of thing we can expect at your church, the uh, Udexis? Oh, goes? absolutely. Hmm. Fascinating. You said fetish? Yes. Yeah, thank you. If you kids just want to go and see what they're doing, I, I'm starting to get a little nervous. Like, I don't know if I made enough sandwiches. <laughs> and if those you know little what? kids get hungry, it'll be a problem. If it gets me away from this conversation, I'm happy to go talk to Feta for five seconds. Great. Uh, good one, Bliss. This sucks. I agree. <laughs> I just look at Apex for a second and then look away. Um. <laughs> okay, good. Now we will close out this first scene unless anyone has anything else they want to accomplish. Um, we will also reintroduce the concept of passageways between every scene while you guys are in the hallways of the mall. You can also perform actions, speak to each other. This was more for when you guys were two separate groups and wanted to connect. But if you just want to like pass notes or have a little moment before you get to a store, you can do that after every scene. The mallway hallway. Exactly. I I think Lenore would just have a moment with the other Goths where she's like, I, I, and I suppose uh, Theo could be there as well, but um, she would just kind of like, wow, you know, I, all this talk about the mall, I realize I haven't been here for a couple months, actually. it's It's been a little while. Like, things have changed. Man, we're all growing up so fast. I don't think it's changed so much. It's just like any other day. Yeah, we just like graduated. Like, it's not such a big deal. Uh, where were you guys, by the way, during graduation? I went looking for you guys and couldn't find you anywhere. Oh, uh, which party did we go to, Bliss? So we were somewhere, right? Yeah, we were at the same place. I where thought were we you? were calling you. Like, we totally tried to text you. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, it must be that weird glitch we're always talking about where I get no messages or calls from either of you. <laughs> I mean, you were probably just making out with B again, you know what yeah. I mean? You always ignore the phone at that point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're right. She does have a pretty big hold on me. A uh, big hold on me. But I yeah, do... We, we know. But I do think tonight would be a very awesome time to just lay the final legacy for us here at the mall. You know what I'm saying? If we can keep this Glitter Scout thing under wraps and the mall can keep going, they'll remember us, you know, once we all go off to wherever it is we are all going. You think they'll put our faces like on a plaque or something on the walls? At least a sticker or some kind on a door. I could always oh. bring some uh, spray paint and we could do a little graffiti. That might oh. be a little more permanent. Ooh, I like that too. Oh, fuck yeah. Always yeah, like with that. good ideas, Lenore. Either way. It's, it, it's crazy that like this is going to be the last summer we all spend together, the three of us. I mean, we've been doing this since, God, the last thousand years. No, don't remind me. I'm, uh, I'm feeling weird about it, but whatever. Well, if you ever need to talk about it, Lenore, we're here for you. Another time. Let's let's just get this fetid thing over with. Sick. Yeah, it's not really a Sigma thing to talk about your feelings anyway, so mm -hmm. let's keep moving. <laughs> now, goths are clearly going to feta. Visigoths and Mogoths can technically always move independent of each other. Visigoths, are you also going to feta? I am going to go to Feta. I will also go to Feta. But on the way, I would like to speak to my brother and Brenhilda. Or, or I'm so sorry, B. Yes. Um, I believe we have a singular opportunity this evening. Ah. Go on. These small scouts, these little glitter bugs, or whatever they were called. Mm. I believe we can turn them to the glory of the Visigoths and leave mm. our mark in a very certain way. 
Go on. We sack the mall with the tiny. <laughs> yes! We sack the mall. You we mean sack the mall. for glory? Hmm? For glory. That's what we do. We sack, we pillage, we burn. Yes, but we don't pillage our own. Places. Very frequently we, we do. Others. <laughs> we usually pillage uh, with our enemies, but well, um, we find our enemies here. We find Benedict, and and anyone is an enemy if you pillage them. But yes. I always kind of thought of this place as like a, what is that? Uh, he showed me uh, like uh, how you do in friends. This is our place. That's what I. That's why would we destroy our own? We should be destroying others. Well, that's where I'm Much going. like Woden had to die before he could be made new uh, on the Tree of Life, we must too hang ourselves on the Yggdrasil of this mall so that we can start our new lives as adults. Brother understands. <laughs> yes, but brother has been... Haven't you been still talking to the Catholic boy? He has. Who, who told you that? <laughs> I mean, you are not he, sneaky, brother. <laughs> not at all. Theo sneaky. You? Yes. I just want to pillage and burn. I do not wish to. Yes. I do not wish to talk and about this. There. If... It seems like you don't want to talk about your feelings, and that's a problem with. We you. are. We are Visigoths. We don't talk about our feelings. We pillage and we burn. We talk about our feelings. <laughs> Not have... talking about our feelings is a very Roman thing to do. Look, I have, I have a confession. I have dedicated myself to the ways of Brittany and Spears, and I am stronger than I was yesterday. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is true. You are losing your edge, but your strength has not waned. <laughs> I have evolved, adapted. Mm. I am now more powerful because of that. Look at you, you stand out. Me, I can sneak up behind Evans and kill him because I blend. <laughs> And with with you blending in front of the store, we <laughs> will start our second scene. It is late afternoon. We are at Feta Worse Than Death. Um, as you all approach the entrance of the store, you see a Victorian goth girl, um, about the same age as you all, in a Victorian dress, like full Lolita sort of outfit. Um, and she is she doesn't even see you walk in, so you do not get a high welcome. Um, Lenore's gonna go ahead, Bliss, if you have something. Oh, no, no, you go. <laughs> Lenore just walks in, and probably like literally every other customer is like, Oh, did someone fart in here? And then immediately like regrets saying it. It's like, I- I'm sorry, hi, how are you guys? Nice to see y'all. Judith, hey. Judith's head whips around, and she has like a suspiciously like large amount of like different cheese on like her hands or like where she might have like wiped off her face like she is a mess and she goes it looks like she's going to yell like she's so upset and then she goes we're doing the best we can please be nice okay the glitter scouts are coming and i do not have enough samples they keep asking for samples what can i do for you judith so nice to see you yeah really Uh, good to see you uh, we were just coming by because uh, Sloppy Joe was just wanting to check in to see how you're doing, and we're just stopping by. I'm fine. Yeah, fine. That you look. You're not a very good liar. I'm fine. It's just we we're running out of cheese, and they keep the, the scouts. They keep coming in and asking for samples. They. Usually something will tell you to stop asking for samples. Like we're going to run out of samples and we sell the cheese. So we can't give away the cheese for free. We can't give it all away for free, but they keep asking. Judith, have you tried saying no? (laughs) They're too cute to say no. Have you ever said no to a glitter scout? Why don't you like just go buy like craft singles and give them that stuff. They won't know the difference. They'll love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Why don't I just scrape the dust off the ground? and wet it a little bit and give it to everybody. I mean, it'll be cheese dust, so it probably wouldn't be bad. I believe they do it with what you call uh, hot dogs that they sell in the food court all the time. 
Ah, the liquid cheese. Is there something I can do for all of you? We were just told to check in on you and see what you were doing to prep for the kids. Like, what what should we tell Joe? Like, is he ready for this or no? No one can ever be ready for this. I'm doing the best I can, but we will never have enough. These babies are so hungry. <laughs> this mall is going to stink if all these kids are eating cheese. <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean to say your food is delicious, but come on. Cheese the has a byproduct. Toot. Yes. Have have you thought of just scaring the children away? That usually will fix a lot. Yeah, B, like just like use your howl. You got to get in deep from the chest and just growl them away, yeah? And I mean, it's a Apex, Apex could always just post up outside and scare the kids if they come too close. Or... I'm an excellent guard dog. I was once hired to stand outside of a Barnes & Nobles for 14 hours. And I was there for 16. They didn't even have to ask me. Can Blisk just go over to the door and then flip the sign from open to close? <laughs> yes. Or you can yes, do that. You can. Oh, shit, do that. that works too, yeah. Well, you can do that. Look, That's problem weird. solved, Judith. They won't be coming in here anymore. Until you're ready, at least. Thank you. Yeah? yeah. Yes, that should keep them away. But I like the idea of, of scaring them. If you can, if you see them, if you can scare them. Or, if, I mean, during, while well, the mall is open, it's fine. But it's really when the mall closes that things get weird. So please, yes, if you could just sort of be the protection between us and them, all of you, that would be great. What do you mean? Oh, weird? yeah, I... I scare plenty of children. I oh, got God, you. Children. <gasps> Giving children fear is a great joy to me. It, it's a good way to build character. Uh, Bliss, can I just have you roll 2d6 real quick? Sure. Uh, cool. I heard your question. Uh, five. Okay. So, um, of the things that you've been noticing, because you're also a witch, so you're tuned into this, um, the moon is slightly... And every night up to this night has been getting increasingly more purple. Mm. Um, now that you are all in the mall and you have seen um, Floppy Joe was vacuuming purple glitter. Um, what is left in the store, there's evidence of glitter scouts being in here and asking for samples. There's glitter on the floor, on the counter, um, just the same purple that the moon has been. And the fact that all of these grown adults are afraid of a couple of kids in overnight, this is the weird. Something is happening. I think Bliss is going to go up to Judith and just be like, what do you know that I don't know? What's going on? Why are you so scared? What's weird? Is it the moon? Well, the... <laughs> it's the moon. But honestly, I like that kind of thing. So that's fine. But it's, it's just the girls are I don't know what they're working on. They're very serious about it. One of them left their, their shopping list here, and I know they're gonna come back for it, but I can't leave because I don't wanna go find them. And hands you a shopping list, or rather a to-do list um, that the Glitter Scouts have created. And I will send that to everyone over at Discord right now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> while Bliss is having that conversation, just a moment ago, uh, Apex and B were agreeing on about something. <clears throat> um, what was it? You, it was like you both that just we said, should howl. Right, right. The whole howl. howling thing and air kids maybe stay out and guard. Right. And so, so uh, uh, Lenora's standing next to Theo and just kind of like whispers to Theo, like, "Man, it's crazy how much B and Apex just are really in sync, you know." In sync, that is a band. I don't listen to that band. I, I mean, like, they just, like, get each other. Like, they really are always agreeing on everything. It's oh. kind of rare, you know? Yes, that is very special. Our relationship is also very special. Because you like things that I do not like, and I like things that you do not like. But don't you think that could also, like, pull people apart also? Hmm. I had not considered that. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, don't worry about it anyway. It just let's let's just let's keep talking cheese. Um, <laughs> you guys, small Visigoths, I can't read this. Does this look familiar to You're you? You're illiterate. Not that I'm a Lenore, please. Um, 
it's just written in a different language. It feels more mm. your avenue. May I see? I hand uh, Theo the um, the note. Sounds like this reads like the names of Theo Fedusa Close's cousins or something. What is this? Who is trying to read the note after Bliss? Me. Okay, everyone that's trying to read it, give me a quick 2d6. If you can add any modifiers, if you think you can try to read that in there, let's do it. Modifiers. Can I detect Can I detect lies? <laughs> yeah, if you want to see if anything on the list is bullshit, feel free. I rolled can a six I on a five. see okay. if anything is... <sighs> okay, no. <laughs> Uh, can I use make levitate on the list to hold it up to the light to see if there's any information that's like been erased or anything like that or like mm. yes incredible yes I rolled roll an extra modifier I rolled yes. a nine nine 14 Lenore. 14 and Lenore you rolled an 11 yes sweet okay so um all of you know that this is this is not English this is not any language that Visigoths speak um, for the bullshit check, everything on this list is real. It was written by a Glitter Scout and is something that they intend to get in the mall today. It's almost uh, like, it's almost like a uh, pig Latin. You know what I mean? Like we think it's maybe like the word, the letters are mixed up or something. Do your pigs speak the Roman language? <sighs> is there any chance it's like Wolf Latin? Well, no, can, wolf Latin. Can, can you speak on Wolf Latin? Yeah, um, I only know like preliminary phrases and everything. It's really in depth, and you've got to go to the the eight chan link to really learn through, because mm -hmm. it's like a Duolingo API that you can put in through the back channels so that you can learn every day. But like, write this one that like kind of sounds like Fudica uh, in Wolf Latin. That'd be. <laughs> Fascinating. Can you yeah. give me another example? I'd like to learn. <laughs> sure. Yeah, absolutely. The second word, Arakamorica, is more like. Uh. Keep going. What about Game Game Sicka? <laughs> <laughs> that one's a little more delicate. That one's. <laughs> I mean, we're almost there. Can it Cadel Sicka? <laughs> Yes, yeah, let me just walk away from my my mall mic. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, last but not least, well Mebica. Yeah, Mebica. <laughs> that took a, that think, took a lower turn than I was expecting. I think I should maybe stop before my mall neighbors are really upset. <laughs> oh, Excellent. There's, I don't think there's inspiration in this game, but just know that like the next game I DM, it'll absolutely roll over. I mean, yeah, Apex just always says inspiration. <laughs> oh my god, thank you it's, so much. That's gonna turn into one of those fucking uh, little shorts we do on Twitter. It's just gonna be me. Like, no, again. no, it's not. Yeah. No, never, never, never. Sergio so would never do that. Thank look, you for I sharing mean, the as, culture with us. Yeah, as, as informative as that was, I still am yeah. no closer to understanding what this stuff is. Like, Foodica? Are they just saying food? Uh, it sounds would never like be the wise that warrior simple, right? that I've heard of. Mm. So Foodica. you mean like the food court? Yeah, but court, C-A... Oh. Is it one of those game thingies? Like the word, like the word search. A word scramble, things. perhaps. Yes. Eric Morka. What would That's you food guys? Yeah, what would you recontextualize that as? Hmm. Epica. One minute. Acid One minute. foo. Well, maybe the there's third somebody could be games. Hmm. Judith sees you all after that moment and says, "You might want to ask one of them. It oh, might, yeah, because <laughs> they wrote it. It might be helpful. Yes, hmm. you can try and decipher it. I think that's that's super fun too. But if you'd like to." Yeah. I think we got this, Judith. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, okay. so I think that third one might be games. <laughs> like a uh, like the arcade? Uh, the second one might also be arcade. Oh. Why would they well, have two? I mean, if we happen to pass these these little sprites, we can ask them, you know. <laughs> little sprites. 
All right. Okay. Um, well, you, guys, it... you guys mind if we go to uh, the Dracula video real quick? Yeah, Lenore, whatever yes. you want to do, man. We got to cross more things off the little college bucket list. Maybe we'll find some of them at the Dracula video. I don't know. There's not food there. I thought they said the babies were hungry. Mm. But how hard can it be mm. to find a glitter scout? I mean, one must imagine that they sparkle everywhere that they go. Mm. I suppose, yeah, we could literally just follow the glitter trail. That is true. Well, I there's mean, no telling they're not a Draculas. Maybe they're getting a movie for tonight's sit-in. I mean, we can always separate if you want to try to... You guys can go take your movie. We can go find this glitter scout. I don't see Lenore why we can't. immediately looks at uh, Theo's. Is that what you want to do? You want to break up, or I mean, I mean, split up, split the groups up. Split up. Whoa. We can split up. Yes. You know, splitting up is how we killed the Romans, right? Because yes. we split the Roman <laughs> army in half, and then half of them was divide them and conquer the Romans. Yeah. No, I'm saying okay, we. Yeah. I'm saying we. If we split up, we're the Romans. It's a very bad idea. So I'll go to the food court, and you guys go to the movie theater. And anybody else who wants to come with me can come with me. Ooh, we're splitting up again. Hey, I mean, guys, this is our last summer together. That we gotta good. soak up as much time as we can all together. All of us are going to college. All of us. It is like the eve of a fun, like before the night of a great battle. We have a last hurrah for all the potential death. We will have that last hurrah, but we still need to just find these little sprites or whatever. Apex. Apex is Apex is right. I don't think we should split up anymore. We have we have a saying in our culture, and it's that no. sleeping is practicing for death. Think of this temporary splitting up as practicing for the time to come. Yes, because whatever you love can be taken away. So live like it's your dying day. Who are those immortal words? Uh, Kelly with the machine gun. Ah. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, all that advice fucking blows. Most of it has to do with me fucking dying. I don't like that beat. <laughs> you will not die with me here. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, B. And if you do die, just make sure that you do so gloriously. Living life is a choice. Making a like difference. Like Jesus Christ, our Lord isn't. and Savior. Who told you about yeah. that? Keep your tongue in your mouth. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> do not get mad at him. And I look at the selection. To take this close. The six <laughs> She's so modernized, she can't even pronounce the name anymore. <laughs> she lost he her language. No, he hasn't said B at all. He's been calling me by my name, so mm, why should I be okay. calling his name right? Uh, okay. No more dead name each other. I can't decide. Whatever. Whatever the I'm group's done. doing, I'll just do it. M maybe Gross. there's a lot of tension. I'm starting to... We'll just go to the... Go we'll just go to the movies. The, to the video store. Jesus. Okay, okay looks like we're Are all you? going to... Are you okay, Bliss? You sound upset. You're not upset with us, with me and Lenore, are you? It's more like them, right? I just, not me, of course. I just turned around and walked towards the video store. <laughs> Sick, you cool. Know, I'll take your silence as an affirmative. You know that can be interpreted as rude. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to the store of the moving paintings. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so we are now we're at scene three, which is early evening. We're at Dracula video. Um, the mall is starting to clear out. Most of the people that stay here are either people that work here or other cool teens such as yourself. Um, you enter Dracula video, which is the video rental store. You see Fritz Fang who um, Apex, you absolutely know because he is a werewolf. And I believe you guys touched foreheads last time. Did we really? Yes. This, this kind of feels like um, 
we all had way too much to drink last night, and Zach is like retelling everything yeah. that happened. It's like, oh, oh yeah, that's exactly what happened. Do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly we were extremely like. drunk last night. I have yeah. no <laughs> recollection of Fritz Fang. I know, I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm here to give you guys a couple of cues before we start. Did we really and... like each other? We found like werewolf solidarity. Yeah, you guys were bros. Was I into him at all? No, it wasn't like that. It was very okay. much homies. Got like it. you guys were talking about how hard it was to be furries together. You guys were in the struggle. Just two bottoms talking. I got you. Exactly. <laughs> you okay, Pax? Do we do we see any sprites around here? Any uh, what are these called? The glitter scouts. Glitter scouts. Glitter scouts. The, glit, the purple glitter bombs. Roll and it, everyone that wants to take a quick look around the store that wants to see something other than Fritz, go ahead and roll for me. Can I use my levitation again to rise above all of the shelves and just look down? Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> I rolled a four. I okay. rolled a four. I rolled okay. ten. I, I rolled eleven. Cool. Damn. Food apex, y'all looking? Or you're I got right. four. I got five. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Lenore and Theo, um, you see a sort of like rush, like someone quickly turning a corner um, around a wall or a doorway and a f adult like foot that looks like someone that's been laying on the ground quickly pulls their foot back um, from behind the counter. No one else sees that. I drop my levitation and plummet to the ground and land over top of the person. <laughs> okay. Who are uh, you? <laughs> I'm gonna rush over because I saw that. Okay. Um, what's everyone else doing? I'm gonna go see Fritz if I don't see this. Okay. Bliss is just aimlessly I wandering through the, the store looking at different videos and stuff like that. I, Not engaged. I'll probably, I'll probably follow Theo. I too wish to charge into battle. I was gonna say, if I saw Theo drop down, I would assume they caught someone. So I'm gonna go with Britney Spear. I'm gonna take that out. Okay. Um, so you will see, you do see a glitter scout. It is a, a very short, maybe four foot tall, um, brown skinned girl <laughs> with, uh, with a purple sash who's standing over a grown man um, who's like maybe mid forties um, in a sort of janitor's like suit, like one piece suit, um, who's laying on the ground and he looks like he's lost a fight. Uh, he's sort of like scoot back against the wall from this girl. Um, and immediately when you all turn the corner, they both look at you. He looks terrified and she looks as if she's been caught. I... Hey, little glitter shit, what are you doing? <laughs> I bend the knee to this tiny glitter scout who has, <laughs> who has downed a janitor. <laughs> Small but mighty warrior. What is your business here? What has this Cretan done? to deserve such treatment. Uh, he just got in my way. And the, mm, the so janitor proud. goes, I was doing my job. I was doing my job. All I do was clean. And you leave so much glitter everywhere. And she goes, shut up. <laughs> Listen to the tiny warrior. It would do you well to keep her mouth closed. Who are you? Are you, why are you helping me? What is this? I'm not here for you. I'm here, and I turn my attention to the Glitter Scout. For you, Tiny Warrior. This is the Tiny Warrior saying, who are you and why are you uh, helping me? Oh, it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I only totally thought it was the man. I forgot he had no. a British accent. My bad. Look, first of all, Theo, you're approaching this the wrong way, okay? It's a little kid. You don't show them that amount of respect, okay? They got to show us respect. They have already shown their, their value. Lenore. By scaring an old dude? Glitter Absolutely. shit, what the hell are you doing scaring this guy? What are you up to? What, you, what does this first? mean? I'm gonna hold up the, the menu. <laughs> or the little... The list. Yeah. The menu. Well, she she tries to actually roll a D, uh, roll 2D6 for me. Oh, She's no, gonna try to don't. snatch it out of your hand. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, boy, here we go. Oh, another? I, I keep rolling a five and a six, 11. Yeah. She rolled a six. She's gonna snatch it, and it's just too tall for her. Yeah. Um, she goes, 
give that back. We're yeah, trying to. Right. I'm looking at you like this is why you don't. Go, okay, go ahead. We're trying to get everything right for tonight, and he was getting in my way. Now this is our mall now. You two are just gonna have to wait until we're done. What is your plan here? I am also a warrior, as is my friend B, and we would love to help execute your plan. You would? Uh, yes, uh, I would. This is... Wait, 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 wait. It's, but it's our mall, not your mall. I no, mean, we would like to share the mall with you and learn of your plans. Yes, let us merge forces so that we can better conquer. Well, first off, I only work with other Glitter Scouts. We're the future. You guys... Have had your time in the mall, but it's kind of played. It's kind of done. Wow, this is really, <laughs> this is striking me harder than it should. This hurts. Hmm. It's your, well, it, this I'm is your sorry. Your the fact that my old. girlfriend just loves this new regime change and Lenore's just gonna stomp off. Little glitter old people are weird. I am. Are you going as well? Please tell me, what do these words mean? Yes. Oh, it's it's like double talk. What is I double talk? I do not understand double talk. You will have to make this simple for a little fool like me. Yes. Is this like so Valley like, Girl? No, like, okay, so my name is like Maisie, like, Maidika, Namika, Izika, Maisika, Izika. Oh my goodness, that's... <laughs> Does that mean we were right? <laughs> yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, Fudica, wait. Fudica, RM... Orica Morica. Armor? Armor? Games? American Games. Eagle? Canica. Candles? Okay. Meb. I don't know what Meb is. What is Meb? Meb. Meb. My name is Meb, says the man on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Meb? Your name is Meb? Yes, my name is Meb, and I'm the janitor, and I just want to finish my job. If you could get this why? girl away from me, why? please. Why is the name Meb? That does not. That is a. That is not the good one. You why could you be wise? My people's name. names are the why? way they are. But Meb? <laughs> it's my fucking name. I'm not the one who got defeated by the warriors. So I would shut the fuck up. Okay, well, first off, have you ever had a bag full of glitter shoved down your throat? Because you can't spit that all out at once. It's a choking hazard, and that's why I keep trying to get them to clean up the fucking glitter. Are you choking? <laughs> <laughs> this is a baby. Why are you shoving gl glitter down his throat? Because I wanted him to be quiet. Understandable. Thank I mean, you. He is annoying. He keeps telling us that we can't walk around with our glitter sashes because it's messing up the mall. And it's a choking hazard. And it's like, I don't understand. Only so if you're I'm, weak is it a choking hazard. Only the Thank weak you. die of choking. Yes, so I'm trying to make sure that he doesn't leave and he won't stop moving. Mm. And Meb is like stuck up against this wall. Like Maisie is holding it down. Well, as you were, small warrior, thank you for your wisdom, and I look forward to you taking on the new leadership of them all. And I walk out. <laughs> They're cool. Thank you. Now, uh, Meb says, well, it, now that they see you leaving, if, if I can't stop these girls, I can't clean the air conditioner, which means I'm gonna have to close them all. That hmm. is your problem, Meb. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I, Meb is terrified. <laughs> what is this? Why I immediately why go to bliss. Hate, why do everyone hate the mob? I'm yeah. I'm still I'm still perusing through through stuff. I'm like sliding. I, I, I go to Bliss first because I left the group a little bit earlier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. We so will cut thirty time in Bliss. Here we go. Take a so number. So Lenore Lenore comes up first and she's like, God, I fucking, oh my God. Sometimes I wish I was asexual like you. Trey, I mean, Lenore, I do enjoy the occasional kissing but uh, yeah you're right i do not like to attach myself um yeah yeah you're right i mean I just, I just noticed you yeah you're not as attached messy. and it's messy. it is messy it's messy things are getting messy i don't know what to do uh, i think theo and i are drifting apart as i get ready to go away to college i mean is that so much of a bad thing lenore 
I mean, I haven't thought about it, but I mean, I feel like Theo's been a good influence on me. I mean, I've been like bullying a lot less people. Sure, <laughs> sure. And now you have an eclectic spread of uh, little quips of rap lyrics too. It's fine. It's great. It's a time and a place, but you know. So you're saying I should be in the college mindset of just experimenting and, you know, dating people and yes. love isn't real, real. I think that is what I'm trying to tell you. Yes. Yeah. Be free. Oh, shit. Well, you're... she's coming. Just, let's pretend like we're not talking about it. So. Theo. Oh, yeah. Theo. Always oh, spry as ever. I saw you over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Hello. Yeah. Yes. I have broken the code. Code. What Food. is it? Candles. Arcade. Games. Hold on, I have to look at the list again. Food, arcade, games, candles, meb. They have already crossed one thing off of their list. So we must take all of the things that they need before they can get to them. We must get the armor. We must destroy the arcade so they cannot use it. And we must get candles. I don't know why we need candles, but we need to get their things before they get their things because this is our mall. They cannot take our mall. Yeah, but earlier you sounded like you wanted them to destroy the mall and destroy the AC. Like you don't care about the mall. For a person who deals in theater, you do not understand lies. You were lying the whole time? You were pretending? Yes, oh, you lied to children. Lie to children. There's nothing wrong with lying to children. Wow. I'm impressed. There is. Don't lie to kids. <laughs> I, okay. okay, so if we're still all in this together, then, I mean, what... They got Meb. They wanted to stop Meb, so I guess he couldn't fix the AC. Yes. But what do they want candles, games, and the arcade for? I don't know, but we need to take all of them. And armor. We need armor because they are small and they are ranged. I do. I was going to say what was interpreted as arcade is actually armor. Oh, right. oh excuse me. Armor. <laughs> okay. Thanks, yeah, you guys already got to it. You just forgot. I mean, my overalls are pretty thick. I don't think anything, any glitter is going to get through it. Your arm, your your overall armor may be thick, but spears are sharp, and they have teeth. These what? kids are gonna have spears. They could. Yeah. Why are they arming them. themselves? Well, then I guess we need to go to these stores and stop them from grabbing something from there. Then, right? Yeah. You you didn't hear this little glitter shit talking about how they are taking over the mall. That they're the new, you know. <laughs> Please. Leads of this mall. Everyone every year tries to say that they want to take over the mall. And at the end of the day, who takes over the mall? It's fine. You know, all we need to do is get battle ready. Isn't that what the Zagots do? Just get battle yes. ready? Yes. Yeah. So yes. why don't we just armor up or whatever and um, kick little glitter sprites? Man, my therapist is going to hate this, but I can't wait to kick their ass. Mm. From there, we're gonna wipe to Fritz oh. and Apex at the counter. Oh wait, wait, sorry. Um, um, Bren, just uh, come back to me later. Just know I'm not gonna leave Meb with this little kid. <laughs> okay, I'm... you're still in the hallway. Yeah, I'm still with. Meb. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Okay, um, Apex, you are at the counter with Fritz. Uh, he is excited to see you. He also has, he has his ears are not like. You have four ears, right? Yeah. Fritz's ears are like fully wolf ears. You don't know if it's like surgery or if he's an IRL werewolf, but it's a different thing. Damn. Uh, he goes, what's up, dude? I, I think that uh, Apex doesn't even speak at first. He's just kind of put his hands down on the, the counter and he's primed himself into a very like cautious uh, point of view. <laughs> <laughs> you see Fritz getting more and more animalistic and almost jumps on the counter and starts like <laughs> Why do we permit this? <laughs> Fritz comes across the counter and grabs your your like the back of your shirt and just like headbutts you. I fully headbutt back and then like somehow turn it into this very big deep hug. Yeah. Um, that comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of like grab, like re grabbing and like patting and like it's more well, than it needs to be. Yeah. There's so many claps on the back. Like yeah, it's just yeah. unnecessary. It's What's up, man? What's up, dude? It's nice hey, to see Fritz. you. Oh, man. So good to see you, man. 
haven't fucking lost your edge, I see. What's up, uh, man? No, never lose my edge. Never lose my edge. Moving on from Sigma to Alpha. That's what this year's about. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're going to some, like, nerd school, I heard. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, can I show you that, actually? Um, Fuck yeah, dude. And, and Apex reaches into his bra. <laughs> just reaching into his shirt and he pulls out an envelope that he sets down on the, the counter in front of him um, and in big like sharpied letters it reads MIT um, and he slides it over and uh, if uh, if Fritz reads through the letter he learns that uh, Apex has been given a NASA scholarship to MIT with the expressed major of rockets um, and that he's been accepted with a full ride Bro. Who are you? <laughs> is this like is this like something that there's a lot of furries in the NASA community or something? There's so many STEM furries actually. Seriously? Every, oh, every wow. furry is a STEM. I promise you the government is run by Can furries. Um, <laughs> That's not crap. even dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> so many furries and rockets. Um and yeah. Apex is the next in a long line of very prestigious furries. Um, Fritz looks at you and goes Fucking wolves in space, dude! Yeah, man, wolves in STEM, wolves in STEM. It's important, we, man. We gotta get more of us up there. There is not enough. Representation is important, and it's it's so hard. Oh, uh, I'm so proud, dude. I knew you That's would great. get it, Fritz. I knew yeah, you'd man. get it. Uh, my dad yeah. was totally against it, man. He wants me to be a preacher. And you know how I feel about the Lord. He's close to my heart, but he's not first. He's not number one, you know? Yeah. That's, uh... That belongs to BB, you know? Oh, oh, it's still, it's still, you know. It's still going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're totally good. She doesn't know about this yet. And he points down at the MIT envelope, but, you oh, know. shit. It's. Don't you have to, like, move in soon and stuff? Yeah, in like a week. In a week? Uh, yeah, don't tell the others, but, like. Might be the end of the road for old Apex. Moving from that Sigma grind set to the Alpha uh, uh, existence. You, you, you excited? I mean, I, you seem happy, but this is tough, dude. This is no new move. This is real. I, I am really excited. I'm really happy. Like, I like the person I'm going to be, and, like, I know who I am and everything, but, like... I don't know, there comes a time in every young wolf's uh, existence that he realizes he's got to start his own pack, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I just don't know how this pack's going to take it. They kind of need me, you know? They're, I'm like the glue that keeps us all together. I'm like the leader. I'm like the, the one in charge. I'm like the one that, that leads everything and everybody works that. up to me, you know? I see that. I see that all the time. I just assume that that's you. Yeah, you've it's got... sort of like a lead from the back point of view so that they don't get too intimidated by what I'm trying to lay down. It's like that Sigma grind set, like I was telling yeah. you. Yeah, that's a natural pack structure is to put the leaders in the back so you can see if everyone's alive. Yeah, uh, Fritz, I just don't know how to... I don't know how to tell her. Hey. Like, it's all coming to an end. She kind of lives here in a liminal space that is constructed <laughs> through a time travel situation. The kind of traps her in the mall for forever, and so she's just kind of been regurgitating anything she can find at a Spencer's. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And like, I'm not in that place, you know. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta sit her down, right? You gotta right. sit her down. You're the alpha guy. She's the alpha gal, and you gotta sit her down and say, "We are both alphas, but I've got to go to space." And if she doesn't fucking get with you, dude, <laughs> she should have never been with you, man. You gotta let her go. Fritz, man. You always know what to say. That spaceship was really good. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. It's just real. It's just the real shit. And not everyone's ready for it. And yeah. But I think you are. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, do you want to buy something? <laughs> yeah, you got any copies of Avatar 2 Way of Water? Fucking of course, dude. Fucking love I would that movie. just love to be one of those big blue guys. This and is the nineties. This is the first the one. <laughs> Listen, Not you guys have made warm time. Warm. You guys have said so many times since already <laughs> that I cannot you know draw what? the line now. AUs, baby. AUs. I cannot Give me that draw. sweet, sweet knobby love. 
Yeah, I got you, man. But actually, no one else has even touched this movie. I don't know what's going on, but it's there. All of the copies we have are still here, and he he checks one out for you. Uh, and as he's handing me the Avatar 2 Way of Water, I hold it with one hand, he holds it with the another, and then I take my separate hand and I, I put it to the back of base of his neck and I pull him forward so that our foreheads touch yeah, and we yeah. howl uh, desperately at the moon. Um, and then I take my copy of Avatar 2 Way of Water. Okay, I will say at this point, all of you hear these two howling at the counter. Howl- um, and you all hear the adult voice of what is going on in here and you all see a short thin um white man in all purple in like purple shorts and a purple shirt a collar and a bunch of patches on it and a glitter sash as well Mm. um and he's walking he heard the howl but he's continuing towards the people in the hallway uh, but he's addressing everyone. What's going on in here? It sounds like a bunch of people being loud. Theo, this is like their like their warlord. The glitter scouts. Can we take him down now? Do we know his name? Not yet. Uh, Do you want to ask my name? I wasn't talking to you, thanks. But I'm uh, sorry. I'll ask your what name. What is your name? <laughs> I'm Scoutmaster Pebble Stanson. Pebble? Excuse me. Pebble. 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 He does look look like a bit of a pebble. He's just a little tiny rock. Yes, yes. I'm here overseeing the overnight lock-in for all the glitter scouts. Make sure they're safe and fit and ready for tonight's festivities. What can I do for all of you? It seems like one of my little kiddos is back in the hallway. I'm going to see about them. Yeah, they were accosting one of the employees of the mall. Did you know that? No, I did not. Making Who? making fear for his life. Is there a patch for that? Well, yes, but that's <laughs> that's not. We're not doing that tonight. It's it's time for fun. It's not time for for pseudo political well, aspirations. Well, she was having fun. Oh. <sighs> that does sound fun. Yeah, I yes. mean, is, does fun include overthrowing the current coolest people in the mall? I mean. Is this about the Commerce Department? Commerce Department? What? Is that the government thing that... Evans. Evans, yeah. Yeah, Evans. Lovely person. Friend of mine, actually. But this isn't about them. This looks like it's about something else. Can we ask, though, where is this Evans? We would like to meet him. Oh, uh, Evans' office is right by the mall boss's office. Uh, It's on the way out of the mall. You can find it in the hallway. Interesting. Let's go find the seconds. But I'm, I'm gonna go see about my little, my little glitter scout here. Excuse me. And um, Meb, you can see that Pebble basically takes Meb, and this is or not Meb. Pebble is a little man, a very little frail man, but fully in both arms picks up Maisie by her shoulders, like rocket ships her away, and Meb. Like, it's like scrambling and crawling for his life and runs out of the store and is just holding Maisie. I'm gonna make sure that she's all right. I'll see you guys around the mall. I assume you guys are gonna be here for a minute. Yeah, we'll be around. Yes. We must be careful of this one. It is Mm. always the tiny frail ones that are the most competent generals. Yes. Why do you think you have survived this long, brother, under my rule? Your rule? Didn't know there was a hierarchy. So what now? Are we are, you- are we stopping the glitter shits or are we going to talk to Evans? Because I I mean, we have to do this I, as a team, I guess. I don't think anything that productive is going to come out of talking to Evans. This could be when we split the party. Well, now we want to split the party. Interesting. Fascinating. I was always in favor of splitting the party. I knew it! <laughs> kind of... Illinois. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Um, Pebble Am I supposed to run and... after her? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 like, give that look like... Yeah. <laughs> yes? Oh, dear. I, like, yeah. toddle after her. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Um, we will actually, yeah, we'll do passageways and then I think we'll go on a break. But Bren, you had something to say? Um, I want to make sure that the little girl doesn't kill the janitor. <laughs> okay, so Pebble is holding Maisie just like aloft um, between his hands and Maisie is just like kind of in neutral mode. Like if, if you pick up a puppy by the back of their neck, that's sort of like Honestly, that's what, that's what I doing. would have liked to do, do earlier is like kind of like pick her up by the scruff of the shirt just to keep her away from him. Because okay. technically I'm stronger than her and she can kick all she wants and don't mean shit. Technically. Do you say, while while the Fritz scene is happening, while this is happening, do you say anything to Maisie? You got a lot of spunk. I like that. But use it elsewhere. That's uh, just not really because I'm kind of just finding it funny. Okay. You're She's like trying to like struggle the way that kids do. It's cute. You're... It's funny to me. I'm giggling. <laughs> you squiggle <laughs> like worm. Until Pebble picks her up. That's that's where you two are at. Yeah. Um. We will cut to looks like Theo's chasing after Lenore for passageways. Lenore is uh, just getting a quick uh, like smoothie to drink. She's like in line. Hello, Lenore. You looked upset, and I was told that if you are upset, I'm supposed to follow you. Oh, yeah, very intuitive. Yeah, just, you know. Thank you. Theo, isn't there something we need to talk about? Uh, well, the mall is in danger, but I have a plan. It's not about the mall. It's about us. Yes, us. Ah, uh, hmm. Your hair looks nice today. Is that what you were looking for about this? No, you've always been really stoic, but now it, I'm starting to realize this is a, like, I don't know, like uh, I'm going away to college and we haven't talked about the fact that we might never see each other again. And you just seem totally okay with just keep doing your thing. My heart will break when you are away, but it will be knit back together when you return. Or it might be knit back together by another in your absence. Who's to say? <laughs> I mean, at first I was like, oh my god, she's gonna wait for me, and now it's like, forget it. I mean, you're totally gonna sleep with someone else. Well, technically, we're all sleeping with someone else because sleeping happens at the same time. Oh my god, you're so confusing sometimes. Just... just Fine, all right. If you don't want to be together anymore, that's fine. It's like, fine. We're just... together now. Lenore, as the great Tupac said, you've got to be able to smile through the bullshit. <laughs> you know how your quotes always get me, so. I know. All right, let me just order this orange Julius and I'll feel better and then we can keep going on our adventure to save them all. You can, you can be with me or not with me, but I will carry you in my heart forever in one way or another. What if I didn't go to college? What if I stayed here with you and just like rejected society and just like, you know, ate wild animals like you and stuff? I could well, do that. Would that make you happy? No, I would fucking hate it. Well then don't <laughs> do that. You're only alive for a very short amount of time. Honestly, I'm at like middle age at this point for, for my, my civilization. So I won't live that much longer. That's not true. You're just like, you're like 20 and I'm 18. You're not that much older than me. I I am, I am in fact also 18. <laughs> oh, well then what are you talking about? I mean, you're now that you're in the modern world, you're going to live a long time. Like, you need to start thinking more modern like B, honestly. Oh, interesting. Think more modern. Will I still be able to play the Warriors game of rugby when I go to college? Yeah, of course. It's a modern thing. Yeah, I just... Mm. Look, just well, you, think about this whole thing. Like, I don't know if I'm into this whole, like, casual friends with benefits thing. You know what I mean? It's kind of all or nothing with me. Oh. Well, do you want the all or do you want the nothing? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And I oh. mean, forget it. Forget it. We'll, we'll just, we'll talk about more later. 
You still seem upset. I don't know if our conversation has been concluded. No, I don't think it has either, but I want to sip on my Orange Julius now. Okay, that is your choice. But thanks for talking to me. It does help. Fantastic. Okay, let's meet up with the others. I'll pat her head. <laughs> Kiss her on the head. Does anyone else have a conversation they want to have during passageways? Where are we going next? Do we yeah, where are games? we going? That's, I think... Games and armor? Yeah, we don't... We have a list of things that could point to some stores. Um, but we're also right at a good time to take a break if we want to take this time to think about where to go next. We take sure, a quick little break. Yeah, that'd be want. great. In the okay. talk zone. Welcome back. We are getting into the second half of the game. We are starting off with the fourth scene. It is late evening. Um, I do want to know what the plan is for the goths before I get into yeah. it. <laughs> so we're, I think we're going downstairs. Wait, wait. I thought goths? Or did you say Visigoths? Oh, did oh. You, oh no, fair. Right? Did you mean all goths? When I say goths, umbrella term, every goth. If okay. I'm talking to mall goths, I will say mall goths. Great. But that is fair. because That's how I interpreted it. Yeah. Thank you. Um, well, we would cover more ground if we split up. We would be able to see a couple more stores, so might be smart. Well, shall we? Who will go with who? I would like to go to Hail Satin. I also would like to go to Hail Satin. Oh, Bliss, hello. What is in Hail Satin that we need? Candles. Ah. Why don't I take the brother? Like yeah, why don't I take the brothers? And you guys go to another store. See what the Glitter Scouts are doing, and then we'll come back and reconvene and trade notes. Apex, we need to get some armor. You want to go look for some armor? Okay, yeah. I'm totally down for some armor. I don't naturally wear armor because my thick padded uh, down fur is so powerful that it doesn't really need anything in addition to what I already have. But if we need to get you kitted out, of course. Um, well, we, uh, go ahead. We could, we could get him some good wolf armor because we want to make sure the fur, we want to keep it all clean and I like it. Yeah, oh, I, I keep it smoky. Yeah, yes. but I don't think Silky's going to help you in a situation against Glitter Sprites or Glitter Scouts, whatever the hell these kids are called. So I, I will go with him. we kit you out, too. I will go I... with him to get everyone armor. I need sizes and preferences. You know what I you're, like. You're mm -hmm. the theater tech, uh, Lenore, so you probably have the most experienced costuming people. I mean, so honestly, I yeah, yeah. So I think me and B will make a good uh, partnership here to get us some armor. Those weird co costumes you did for Suzical last year were fucking crazy, man. I love the part where they were really horrifying to look at. That wasn't my intention, but thanks. Yeah, it was super goth uh, in the way that it made me physically uncomfortable. I guess it does, yeah. I just, you know, when you're goth, it just comes out everywhere, you know? And everything you yeah. do. Okay, so, so three and three. We are splitting the party, but not in straight Visigoths and straight Mongoths. We are that, no. mixing things We've never done up. anything straight before, Zach. Why start now? <laughs> this is true. This is, nothing about this game is straight. But uh, clarify for me, Armor Gang, what store are you going to? I have a couple of stores to recommend if that's helpful. But if you know where you want to be. Say it. I don't think we know where we want to be. Yeah. I'll go Can with you your recommendations. Suggestions? Yeah. Yeah. So there's, um, I think, Brink and Mortal, or Brick and Mortal, is a hardware store. But, of course, there's a lot in there that could be repurposed for armor. Hmm. There's Play Gall, which is the sports store. And then there's the Bears. Those are the three sort of What was the last one? Stores. Bears, Bears. And jewelry and accessories. Yes. Mm. Run by Gaybar and Gadar. Yes. <laughs> oh god, that's tempting. That is on the top floor. Um, I'm, I'm between bears and brick and mortal, personally. Okay, let's go to bears then. Okay. Buy okay. it wanna... is. Go to bears. At least our armor Lovely. will have like sequins and stuff on it. <laughs> Hopefully not glitter, because that might be confusing. But or okay. It might be a good disguise. Let me 
we just did our passageways. So I will actually catch up with Candles people first. You guys are going to Hail Satin, correct? Beautiful. Okay, so Hail Satin is demonic bed and bath store with black terry cloth curtains. It is, of course, Mogoth territory. But now that you guys are sort of mixing together, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is where our boy Hemlock is. Um, he is uh, black, black lipstick, trench coat, traditional goth. Um, he is at the counter as well. Hi, welcome. I'll uh, I'll go and like put my hands out and just greet Hemlock, um, like I normally do. So good to see you. Yes. Lovely to meet you again. I'm so excited that you're here. Uh, it's kind of a scary time, but that's kind of good for the both of us, I think. Yes and no. I mean, are you dealing with the glitter shenanigans? Yeah. Yes, the little uh, glitterati have been running around mm -hmm. everywhere. Thankfully, they have no interest in towels. <laughs> but I've seen them through the door. It's been tragic. Yeah. Actually, well, it's not really my bag, right? Because I'll be gone. But they do tend to sleep in here overnight because of the mattresses, mm -hmm. right? So they will be in here, but I won't be here for that. So if we wish oh. to lay a trap, this would be the place. This is the place. You sell can you sell candles, don't you? We're looking for some candles. Thousands of candles. What kind? All of them. Now, is this for something spicy or are we doing This is what, to what's... save them all. So I think spicy, yes. I think spicy. My usual package would probably be enough like the usual ones I get every month or so. Yeah. Let's see these spicy okay. candles. What, uh, what, 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 what makes them so, so hot to the palate? They're full of magic. Well, yes, they are. And what's fun is they're actually way colder than the other candles. They're made of soy. And she, <laughs> or Hemlock, pulls out uh, Bliss's normal order, which is 20. Uh, actually, describe what these candles look like. Um, they're primarily like black and white candles of different heights and sizes and like lengths and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's a it's an excessive amount, and I use them all. Um, <laughs> it is like a, a bricks worth of candles that Hemlock puts on the counter. Um, these are all sort of soy candles, which of course means they burn a little slower, but also. They could be used as lotion, no. if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. <laughs> so, I do not know what you mean. Are you implying that you I pour the hot candle like wax onto your body? That's exactly well, that's what we're saying. <laughs> that sounds painful. Dude, you're, you, know, you, get, you get it. <laughs> mm. I, am... I do understand now. That sounds nice. Um, mm. uh, I give whatever money I owe for yeah, yeah, yeah. Candles. It's it's done. It's fine. Um, you uh, you get the candles. I. This is oh, well, the last thing I was gonna say is like I heard those glitter shits are looking for candles, so maybe not sell them any. Oh, interesting. Do you know why they're looking for candles? Heavens doesn't know why. Something about they want to like bring in the new like take over the mall whatever whatever preteens think that they can do um mm. well, why which, not encourage it which you know? is why we are asking you to give us all of your candles for safekeeping of yes you want all of our all candles. of the candles to own you want to buy all these candles uh we were thinking more of just we well see here is our pitch we hold the candles for you and we protect them. We defend them from these glitter children. And uh, mm. in return, perhaps we could use a couple, but we will keep them all safe for you. Okay, so I can like lock the candles away. If that's oh, helpful. trust me, that's oh, not no. going to be enough. You've not seen these children. They are rabid little black-hearted monsters. Your store, your store is not safe. Make no mistake. They will come to pillage and burn and destroy everything that you hold dear. So it's best if you just hand it all over to us. 
but how do I know I'll like get them back and stuff? Oh, we're cool. Don't worry, we'll give them back. Uh, <laughs> Hemlock looks at Bliss. It's it's okay. I, it's it's better than you know if he'll escalate it. You know. <laughs> Um, so it just might be better just, you know, I, I will make sure that nothing happens to the candles that I didn't buy, you know? Okay. Can I have you both roll 2d6 unless one of you wants to assist the other? Which, if you have a modifier that you can add to the other person's I role, have you? Persuade. Does that give me a plus two? Yes. Oh, I will need it. Five. In total. Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I have persuade two. Um, so that's a plus two. Um, six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Theo, before we, before we move forward here, Theo, what are you doing? Uh, Theo has pulled a very small stone out of their pocket, and they are carving something, and they are carving something. And they uh, will just walk up behind Hemlock and touch it to their cheek. And I want to stun them. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Uh, roll for it. And add whatever modifier. Ten. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Uh, Hemlock is feels the cold stone on their face. Uh, and what does the stun? Is it like a like a taser stun or like a frozen in time? It's like thing? a frozen in time stun. I don't think I'm trying to hurt them. I think it's just a freeze. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, they're like, well, I don't really think that's a good... And they are frozen. Mm. Yes, their opinion does not matter right now. What did you do? They're fine. They will be fine. They are simply you done ju- for a little bit of time. Did you just use magic on another witch? <laughs> they are not a witch like me. We are not the same witch. No, it no, doesn't, no, doesn't matter. Doesn't. It's a cult of ethics thing. You don't use magic on another witch. What are you doing? <laughs> really? I have cursed so many witches in my day. Bliss, please. What is she going to do? What are what 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 he he what he did what what what, what did they? All of them. Okay. Uh, whatever they. <laughs> Sorry, I got tripped up on, on the characters. I did. Um, uh, but I'm sorry. I, I totally derailed. Uh, the Dexter's can't see gender. So he's not um, did, what, what are they going to do? Well, nothing now because you've done I don't know what. <laughs> And it's just a stun. They have frozen for now in a few hours or minutes. I'm not sure which. They will unstun. Everything will be fine. Either way, we should take all the candles quickly. Exactly. Can you um, can you just roll, uh, Theo, can you just roll 1d6 for me? Sort of D6. a luck roll. All right, let's see. I'll use my skull dice. I don't know how long. Three. <laughs> Three. Okay. That is. That means the world that I make is going to be measured in minutes instead of hours for how long they are frozen. They are frozen for the next four minutes. Whatever you have to do, you have four minutes. Get to the do candles it. and run. <laughs> or, or we just snip all the wicks. But then they can just cut. Like it's much better if we just take them. But it takes work to get to them, and then we can get to them, getting to the wicks, and then what you are planning to do, please do it. It's going to take too long to clip the wicks. We just grab them. Smash and grab. Smash and grab. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> so you guys are smashing these candles or cutting the wicks off of these candles? No, I mean... Destru- we're just candle short, destruction we're is my the candles. plan. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> yes. I, want, I, I do want a candle destruction roll from everybody destroying candles. I refuse to destroy candles as, in, as a... One. Your witchcraft is soft if you need candles for it. Is there anything like... Uh, is there like a radiator or anything like that? Anything hot? The candles. Yeah, you just light all the candles on fire. <laughs> there is like a vent system. Um, if you want to try and are you trying to melt? Yes, them? I'm trying to melt all of the candles. Okay, I will say it's going to take longer than four minutes to do that. But if you want to just sort of set them up where they can be melting, 
Yeah, there's like a there's like a radiator. Then I have an eight. <laughs> Beautiful. I got a seven. <laughs> okay. Okay. Twins are going off. <laughs> So the twins decide to stone a man and destroy all of his candles. This is mostly successful. The rest of the candles are sitting on a radiator, and those just have time. Um, Hemlock is completely unaware when they come back into the timeline. Um, a good idea? I, maybe if there's something else that could be done. Sure. I just I don't think that that's like. I understand. Right. Thank you for your time. Yeah, why are you guys all out of breath? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're... I have breathing difficulties. Yes, we're just generally very out of shape, very out of practice. <laughs> okay, well, uh, good luck with that, Bliss. I'll see you later. Oh, I'll... I'll see you later, Hemlock. <laughs> My weak little bitch. Wait, what? I kiss Hemlock on the head as I walk away. Okay. As you walk away, I think now that Hemlock is not in customer service mode, cease the shit y'all did, <laughs> and you see... <laughs> you hear a... What? <laughs> and unless there's anything else to do before we cut to passage... It's a good thing wall. that we are done with this mall. <laughs> do you know how much... You know how hard it will be to find another candle a distributor for me? <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> you gotta find a plug. You can go to the little little church boy and you can scare him into giving you candles. I it's can't. much more fun that way, Bliss. <sighs> Shoot, is that should that be our passageways going there? <laughs> You can't. I will say that was that was pretty quick. If you want to, I'm gonna cut to the other team, and then if you want to hit up, I yeah. would say uh, we duck since since Hail Satin's right next to uh, Benedict's shop. We'll just like say just immediately jump in there. So if Hemlock like runs out, we're not. We'll not look at the Jesus shop. Yeah. I think what happens okay, is, is we're running past the window, and we look, and we see there's more candles in there, and then we de detour. <laughs> okay. As that happens, I think. Um, let me. Sorry, let me get my notes together. Because I did not expect <laughs> you to just <laughs> smash and run. Um, okay, I didn't so. Exactly. <laughs> leaning over the counter, like peeking in a concerned way, is Benedict in St. Sebastian's Catholic Gifts. Um, Hey, are, are you guys... What the fuck was that? Oh my god, they Benedict, are... you're so loud. Um, Shh, keep your voice down, man. How many candles do you have in this store? Wait, what? Like, what? Yes. Candles. Tell us about candles, lot. quickly. There's a, there's a lot of them. There's one for a bunch of saints. I don't know. They're all over the place. Mm -hmm. There's like 30? I don't know. Okay, you need candles? Benedict, listen to me very closely. You and I are friends, yes? <laughs> yeah. You told me you told me about the John of the Foreman, and for that I am forever in your debt. But now I must ask another favor of you, my friend. Okay. You must forfeit to us all of your candles for safekeeping, lest your store be pillaged and destroyed. I am just trying to protect you, my friend. Is this this is like are we playing like pillage? <laughs> 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 Is that a game you play? <laughs> it's, a, it's a good game. I don't know if you guys have tried it. <laughs> Are we playing village? He like turns it to look at you. Benedict, this is no uh, time for dude. games. It's Okay. No, okay. Okay. Real pillaging. Fine, I'll go get the candles. And they go bring them. They just <laughs> bring a small collection of what they have outside. Okay. What the fuck? Here. You have to pay for these. Oh. No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> Theo just, like, cat-like bats one out of their hands. No. No, stop breaking the candles! They, they're... What is happening? Some, Someone explain. Your god cannot me. help you here. Listen, listen, Benedict. 
Isn't it, isn't it a part of, of your church's principles that you should help those in need, yes? Well, yeah. we are in need of candles. Okay, so buy candles. That's not your, what, your, your Jesus of the Christ wasn't super into this whole capitalism thing, so why don't you just give us the candles? Benedict, <laughs> Benedict, if, if you don't give us the candles, I'm going to have to haunt the store again. You no, know, no, it took so long. You remember last? So you remember last time? It took months. We had to bring in. We had to bring in Baptists. And to I'm. Get this place to I'm. Baptist. It's. It's. Yeah. And <laughs> since then, I've gotten even more powerful. And do you not see the amount of candles I have in my hands? Okay. No, it's it's weirdly a lot of candles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot of power okay, in so hands I give you right the, now. I give you the candles, and you leave the store alone. And don't come in here demanding candles again. Well, we, I can't make any, those promises. There won't be any candles left, so that you don't have to worry about this. Okay, but no more of this kind of pillaging. The other kind. Anytime. But no more of this. I think you need a better name than pillaging. Thank you, Benedict. <laughs> As we're running out, I Sorry. grab one of the Switchfoot CDs from the counter. We have... I could get you... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Okay, I love you, or whatever, I guess. <laughs> Just on pillaging with my brother. You must be stronger than this. Use a weapon next time. What? And I, like, hand him a rock chisel. <laughs> you hand Benedict a rock chisel? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. All right. I guess, okay. Get out. Equal payment. Please. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I Wonderful. think we got. I think we got the ball. <laughs> I think you have successfully cleared them all out of candles. Uh, we will wipe to our other team, who is. Where did you guys say you were going? Hey, we're going to bears. bears. Going to bears. We got to go see. up the stairs and stuff for the the uh, elevator. I think I have an idea, guys. I could, if we come across another. Um, of these, uh, I don't know why I keep calling them sprites, but you know these fucking Girl Scouts, these glitter scouts. glitter scouts. Um, I could dress as a glitter scout and maybe try to get a little espionage, a little insider information as to what mm. they're up to. Oh shit! Yeah, your little petite frame would fit in very well with a bunch of fourteen-year-old girls. I mean, it's oh. better than nothing, right? Like, do, do uh, you, the both of you are bigger than me? I was I agreeing. Mean- yeah. I know it didn't sound like it. I was totally in favor. No, I, I was just only concerned because you're so... You're not... You need to have more purple. We need to I'll get you into... I'll have lots of purple. Don't worry about it. I've got plenty of stuff in my backpack. No, no. Yes, I'm going to start changing into oh. a glitter uh, scout to try to prove to them that I can look like a glitter scout. <laughs> How successful are you? <laughs> Can you can you roll? I believe you have a modifier. Yeah, I've got a costume kind of, of three, so let's yeah. see. Yeah, you do. Let's see, hopefully I roll well. Oh man, I rolled like shit. Uh, a six total. Six total. <laughs> okay. Um, describe what you do with what's what's available to you. Be creative, and describe how you uh, assimilate glitter scout culture. Um, I think. I pull out a lot of stuff in my backpack that is like, you know, uh, costuming for theater and stuff. And a lot of it has glitter and sequins on it. So I, maybe there's like a, uh, a, a, you know, a necktie or something like that that has glitter on it that I wrap around like a pretend sash. And I put my backpack on my head like they're, don't, don't glitter scouts have like hats or something like that? Um, and uh, I, I, I do the thing where I put my shoes on my knees so I'm a lot shorter and I'm just kind of like <laughs> shuffling around. Um, and as long as they don't, they don't look behind me, they, they won't see that I have my legs on the ground. But um, yeah, I'm going to try to act like a glitter scout and uh, enter bears. And if I see one, I'll approach them. Incredible. Holy shit, Lenore. Pretty good, oh, right? God. Yeah, like the real you look thing. just like one. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the the uh, the knees is an interesting choice, but yeah, I'll, this, I'll let this play out. This is why I got a scholarship to uh, Juilliard. 
If that's the place that you go for theater text. You go to, wait, you're going to Julie's yard? That's just a weird place for schooling, but. No Julie's shit, yard. you got into Juilliard? Don't, y yes, yes, I did. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm well, Nora, we're both, we're both going to be on the East Coast. How do you guys oh. do it, the two of you? Like this whole, Wait. like, you know, splitting up thing. Like it's driving me and Theo crazy. What do you mean East Coast and splitting up? Uh, oh, you guys haven't talked about it? No, we're doing fine. We're doing just great. We're very good with each other and it will be fine. Uh, East Coast is another part of the mall. Ah, is there's another place I have not explored here. Yes, uh, can we BB, go to the East it's Coast? like, yeah, I can show you the East Coast of the mall. It's over by Lemon Theodosius. You'll love it. It's very far. Ah, I look forward to the East Coast. <laughs> I, I give a look to Lenore like, please. Yeah, I think I like as B walks past us, I'm like, oh my God, you haven't even, I mean, I guess I can't judge you because I haven't really had the conversation. I tried to have the conversation with Theo, but it's like talking to a rock. They really not very emotional. Yeah, yeah, BB's sort of like a rock, but more in the body type. Yeah, but um, you're like into that kind of thing, like... I am, I am, yeah, it's just... I don't know, I feel like I'm splitting up, not just from the goths, but like... This place. I mean, we can't be in an interdimensional mall where we're trapped forever forever, right? Yeah, surely we'll leave for college at some point. Yeah, it's not like we could live the rest of our lives trapped here forever and never be able to leave this place. No, no, no. Don't talk silly. Lenore, Lenore do you ever get worried that maybe we're going to outgrow the people we love and, and that we may have to leave somebody behind? Oh my god, Apex, do you always have to say the loud part out loud? Or the, the quiet part out loud? Fuck. Uh, I mean, yes, that's my whole thing. Uh... <laughs> Look, can we make a pact or something like a goth pact to like, well, you're going to tell our significant others the truth and go on with our lives? Oh, shit. A goth pact? Are you for real? Yes, I'm, I'm invoking a goth pact. Lenore, you know, that means a fucking shitload in the goth community. That's like end all be all. That's reminding me of the time that we found that big pile of shit. You remember that? Yeah. No. Yeah. I think that's when you and I were at our closest with that big pile of horse shit. Yeah. Yeah. Good good times. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's 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 fucking solve this mystery so we can save them well, all. Well, first, we got to take our goth pact. And he okay. reaches into his, uh, uh, like, I guess, bag. I don't know, pocket. Uh, and takes out a knife and cuts himself immediately. <laughs> he has it at the ready. He's just bleeding profusely from the hand. It's almost too much, and he gets shocked. He's like, oh, shit. Quick, hurry. Oh, fuck. Um, uh, hold on. I, I have some duct tape here, and I'll, like, duct tape his arm. Um... <laughs> No, uh, we gotta touch blood to blood. We got right, right, we fine. got goth pact. I'm, I'm gonna take knife and just like pretend smear like some blood on my arm, like like <laughs> I cut myself. And be like, all right, here we go, blood pact. Oh, quick! I'm getting woozy. <laughs> uh, yeah. I invoke I the invoke goth pact. The goth pact. <laughs> As you say that, you hear a gruff, um, large bear of a man come towards the the counter. Excuse me, none of that is allowed in here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sorry, goth pact rules, can't tell it's you. It's a quick goth pact, that's all. Okay, well, don't fucking cut yourselves in my store, I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry, are you gay dar or gay bar? I'm gay bar. Hey, gay bar. Um, I'm Get back there. Yeah, no, I've seen you this guys around. Apex. Yeah. yeah, I'm gay pex. <laughs> oh. I guess I'm gay nor, you can call me gay nor. Okay. This is gay BB. Okay, I understand what's happening. You don't have to do this in the store to be able to be in the store. What do you but... mean? Okay, <laughs> gay pex. So listen, gay bar, we um we are probably going to have to battle these sprites tonight. These little glitter shit. So the little we... purple bitches that's been running around. Yes. Yeah, are there any in the store gonna... right now? By the way. Ooh, roll. Roll for me, 2d6. Yes. 
That's nine. Not that you can see. Okay. Um, well, we need to arm ourselves up. We know that this is the place to find anything glitterified or, you know, sequence fied. So That's correct. You got anything thicker than than wolf's hide? What we got? One thing. And he goes back behind the counter and pulls out um Okay, so this is our soda harness. It is a uh, sort of a chest plate that is made of recycled soda cans. It is as sparkly as glitter, but not as fucking disgusting and sort of get everywhere-ish. Um, but this will sort of protect you from most things, I imagine. Gaby, How sticky what do you think? is that joint? Yeah. I mean, we host it off. <laughs> Gaby, <laughs> do you like the uh, all the, the soda cans? You think maybe this would be good armor for you? I was looking around at all the glitter. I was like, uh... Hmm. Is there anything else you might sort do of be thinking about? Do you have something that we could just do? I heard them. Uh, I heard this thing called glitter bomb. So, like, can do you have where we can just throw it at them as well? Oh, well, yes, we do have glitter bombs. But I want to make sure that you are all aware. This isn't something that would make these babies run away. This is like, this is like a moth to a flame type stuff. They love that shit. Ah. Ah, it could be a lure then. That's the yeah. thing. Okay. Then we descend on them, and we yes. kill their asses. And we trap Ooh. them. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Put them in cages or something. Yeah, we could sell. Okay. Them. We could sell them. Okay. At the... I'm gonna. Okay. Well, I'm. I. I don't. I like to treat you guys. You guys are teens. I like to treat you guys as adults. But I'm gonna be an adult and say we're not gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, of course. We're not gonna drown them in the in the mall fountain or anything. No. We would never do that. Yes, we are not going to. Is that Apex? Is that correct? You Drown. Got it. You got it. There we you, go. you got it, BB. But we are absolutely going to do that. Just don't tell him. We won't close the elevator door on their little soft heads. No. I don't need to hear the different things that you aren't going to do. They're making me doubt all of it. So I do want to make a sale. Looks like soda harness is it, and a couple of glitter bombs. Yes. We're right. not gonna open an alternative corn dog on a stick uh, with their bodies. I don't even know what that means. Gapex, please keep these thoughts to yourself. Look, Gabar, this is just the price of this sale. Okay, you got to put up with us. I don't pay for. I have it already. You guys are the ones so with the money. Want I want the money. Oh my god. Okay. We got a lot of money. Okay, so we're just we just basically need to buy all the armor they have here. Oh, yeah. can, I mean, I was, we have more than one harness. We want one for each of you. Yeah. Uh, can you get us some more harness for the, you know, for the others? So how, how many do you guys need? We need five, six, all, five. All of them. Oh, yes, all of them. Every, okay. All your harnesses. Six of them. Sluttier the better. We've got five, so... Five. You're welcome to have them. We, if, you, if you wear the soda armor apex, we can just take out the nipple ones so you, those are exposed. Oh, you're right. Shit, yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll take and glitter them. bombs? Glitter bombs? Just tell me how many you need so we can... I need at least... Was it one and a dozen? I'll take a dozen. Easy enough. Make it 13 for my BB. <gasps> Baker's okay. dozen. That's fine. That's 14. Is, oh. In the woods, we call it a wolf's dozen. <laughs> here, here you go. Okay, just take the glitter bombs. We have 14 here your... glitter bombs and six armor. <laughs> do, you, do you have also, like, um, a long piece of leather that I can use as a sling? Honestly, honestly, you kids have said a lot of weird shit. A piece of leather is the most normal thing you've asked for from this store. <laughs> I will be right back. Mm -hmm. And he goes to go get a piece of leather. It is. I used um, to do that as a kid. It's just like take a little sling and just throw rocks and hits people in the head. I love when you tell me about the old country, BB. It's so nice. Yeah. Did I tell you that the uh, Visigoths, we actually, we're the ones that created, what did you say, your Olympics? That would be us that created that. Really? Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's right. You guys are a lot more cultured than I thought. 
So everyone else tried to take in the blame it on us. No, we were the ones who created it. We created the real competition. It was just originally we didn't give out medals. You just died. That's not true. That's not true. Oh, but shit. <laughs> I'm going to believe it is true. Guys, you know, I think... I've been thinking about this whole thing between me and Theo, and I'm worried that the reason Theo doesn't even care is because I'm not, like, I've changed. I don't know if you guys have noticed, like, you know, I've been going to therapy and stuff like that. Like, you know, yeah. my parents found my slam book and I got in trouble for always bullying people. So, I don't know, I've learned a lot of tactics to be a better person, but I don't know if that's working for me. Maybe I need to just go back to being the same Lenore I was before, you know, just like a big bitch. I well, like who you were. You are just great. So you're saying I should I go know. back to the person I was. Well, you always were, bitch. You didn't really change. You're saying even after all my therapy, I'm still a bitch? I mean, that's kind of who you are. You just you just say what you like and just say it from your chest, and I like it. If it's if fair, it's not, you're like a bitch with way better communication. Like, you got more tools to be a bitch with, which yes. I think just makes you better. And you don't bitch to weaklings. That's just a being a bitch. If you're going right. to be a bitch, be a bitch to a bitch. Does right. that make hey. sense? Alphas fight alphas. You don't fight betas. That's just... BB, shit, alphas fight alphas. That's what you need, Lenore. Like, consider this, man. If if you got to come down to Theo's level, then you're going backwards, not forwards. And that's how you get stuck in the mall. Mm. So I got to be an alpha bitch. Alpha bitch. That's my Alpha bitch. Start alpha walking. bitch. All right, oh. stop yelling. Oh. That's enough of that. And they bring the strip of leather you asked for. Ah, yes. Okay, that's that's it, right? You guys are good because you've been Hold on. fuck wild. What? Hold on. What? Where's Gaydar? He's in the back. You want to go get him? Bring him out. I want to meet him. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Gaydar <laughs> comes back. <laughs> Goes in the back. And <laughs> Gaydar comes out. What's happening? Hi. What can I do for any of you that have been so loud? I just want to know what you were like before I left Zakia's game. It was our first time <laughs> in here. <laughs> Good to meet you, Gaydar. Thanks. That's it? You just wanted to see my face? That's it. Just want to know what you sounded like. Are they both, I like, think... bears, or are they both, uh... They're both bears. Yeah, yeah. They are. I'm um... going to go shake their hand. Oh. I was like, I heard a lot about you, and I just wanted to meet the the bear. Well, wonderful to meet you. I'm I'm usually just doing inventory, but I'm here. That's, that's it. I'm going to go back to work then. Hey, um, before you go, Gaydar and Gaybar... Uh, you guys are together, right? Or is that really presumptuous just based on your names? No, no, it's bear for bear over here. Okay, good. That's what I thought. And do mm -hmm. you eat children as bears, by the way? What the fuck <laughs> did you just ask me? Well, like bears. They, like bears, they kill and eat people in the woods. Like You, you heard her question? Answer her question. <laughs> we don't eat children. Okay, sick, okay. sick. I, I got a little follow-up. What's the secret, Gaydar and Gaybar, uh, of like just keeping a relationship together? Because obviously Lenora and Theo oh God, are having a lot of problems, yeah. and they're the only ones that are having problems, and no one else in this little group is having relationship problems. Please solve so our you could... solve our relationships, magical gay people. Please. Yes, yeah. it is. They need Lenore needs a lot of help. Sometimes uh, you... a wolf needs to hear from their bears. You see, you see Gaydar just sort of like lean onto Gaybar um, and they sort of look at each other like, oh, I understand. Um, and Gaydar goes, the key is being almost aggressively honest with one another while being soft. Like sometimes um, Gaybar, thank you, Gaybar will just be upset, right? And we have it as an agreement between the two of us, where if he's upset, he could just pick me up and sort of just John Cena me onto the ground. And I find it incredibly exciting. Um, and then that's how we know to sort of have a discussion, but it's about being honest and knowing what works for each other. Like you're a dog, right? So wolf. when- I'm a wolf. Wolf. I'm sorry, I'm Thank sorry. Thank you, BB. You're a wolf, right? So if there's a problem with the pack, then it should usually be discussed as a pack. Yeah. I get that John Cena bit. I get the pack bit, but like, what did you do when Gadar went off to MIT without you? 
Um, is that a euphemism for something? No, it's just... What did you guys do? Please answer that directly. Uh, well, I, I won't speak to that, because that never happened, but uh, um. there was one time where Gadar had to go to a... So Gadar's really into, like, mushrooms, and they went to, like, a, a mycology conference for a minute, and that yeah, was really but hard. Could you refer to the mycology conference as maybe, like, MIT, so I could follow along? <laughs> okay, so um. they had to go to a- a- MIT... And that was really hard for us, but then we just sort of FaceTimed while they were there, and we were honest about it, and and you guys are all adults, right? Sort of. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, well, sometimes when you get a little sad and being alone, you just gotta go outside and fuck somebody, and we just sort of let ourselves do that. Oh, oh, okay. That sounds actually very good. I was... Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention. I was taking notes on my hand. You said aggressively blank and then soft. What was that again? Honest. Honest, thank you. You want to be honest. You know, if you if you don't think that you can just sort of keep it together while the other person's away, 100% just sort of let off steam somewhere else and come back together. Damn. As long as everyone knows what's going on. <sighs> these are really rubbing again. I'm, I'm starting to realize all these kinds of conservative values I have about relationships how this like this conversation's affecting me huh. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these really um, these bears really shook up my worldview yeah well thanks gay dar and bar yeah for sure they both say at the exact same time <laughs> <laughs> and is so, this so I want to say this name correctly Chon Sina is is he a warrior? He he's a warrior as well. I I've heard that before. Oh, he's the greatest warrior there's ever been. Where could I find him? He's very hard to see, so I'm not sure. Uh, we'll, we'll show you the show on television. I'm surprised uh, Apex hasn't shown you yet. Actually, I was really worried she'd break my back. <laughs> Yeah, those what? suplexes look like they hurt. Oh, yes. Uh, if there's a John Cena show, I would love to see. Yeah, we okay. Can, we can show you, BB. Oh, good. Yeah. Great. Dude, we... Is there anything else I can do for you? No, you already sort of taught us the secret to love, so yeah. we're good. Mm. Happy to help. Do you um, transform into bears at all during, like, full moon? No! Oh. Get out of my store, please. <laughs> That's... Please leave. Thank you. I- oh my god, Apex, now like you have to talk to B about this, you know what I mean? Because the gays told us to. <laughs> oh man, you're right. Oh, we both gotta like make forward progress in our relationships before we lose them all. Oh shit. I mean, man. I know I don't like the thought of Theo just like boinking somebody else, so I don't know. I'm I think I'm leaning towards like the whole breakup thing. <gasps> Lenore. I think you might be right. I think it might be healthy for you. You're going in, like, a whole different physical direction. And, like, Theo's not really a theatrical person. Maybe not at you all. need to find your Jonathan Groff. <sighs> First love hurts. Yeah. What are you guys going to do? We're... What are you going to do? I think I got to tell Bibi and hope to God that she's with me. And Tell me know. what? Oh, shit. I'm gonna come, she's I'm gonna... right here. Wait, wait, because I was like, did, did you guys were like sitting right in front of me or did you guys walk ahead of me? I I'm, love that. We're just sitting right in front of you. Yeah. And it's like, because I blend into the wall. Yeah. I was so still you didn't see me. Oh, shit. Um, I- I'll, I'll let you guys have a moment. Tell me what. BB. I want you to know. Wolfie, we shall whizzle for boy. And then I'm going to oh. scratch you. <laughs> and my leg starts kicking. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Listen, yeah. BB, uh, that feels really good, but I gotta talk to you about something. Something for real. Uh, I got this letter, and I know sometimes you have trouble reading, <laughs> so I'll, I'll read it out to you. And he takes yes, out the envelope do. from his bra. And he begins reading the MIT acceptance letter. Uh, and basically, what this all means is that 
Like the space people, you know, the stars? Yes. The stars want me, BB. And they're not gonna take no for an answer. Is this like uh, that movie you showed me with the, like, aliens, right? That's what you mean by stars, right? Yeah, with Sigourney Weaver, that's it. Exactly like that movie. So you're going, you're going up. Is that, I, I, I'm confused. For four like, years is, to MIT in space. Huh. BB, this might mean a lot for us. I want you to know I've so enjoyed every year that I've been at the end of your leash. And when you collared me in front of my father and it made him stop talking to me for quite a long time. <laughs> wait, 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 It changed my life. What? Wait, why are you sounding like this? Okay, so you go to new... Oh, shh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Amira. It's okay. She just <laughs> accidentally smacked your cat. <laughs> it, it's my sister's cat. I didn't smack her, I whiffed Yeah, look. Whiffed her. I whiffed. I'm so sorry. Hold for cat. Um, she been whiffed. Let me move this way. Uh, so, so you're just gonna go to like okay, you go conquer, and you I don't get it. What is the problem? Is it, is it, this is a good academy, right? This is you go either. to space. You go to space to <laughs> staring right at me. <laughs> What's your answer, Apex? <laughs> What's your answer? Listen, listen. Uh, there's this thing about the mall where like. You're gonna be stuck here forever, and like this is the only place that you exist within liminal space, and uh, you can never leave here because you're like you're two thousand years dead and stuck here, you know. So it it might be a little complicated when I go to space. Wait, We're not gonna wait, see wait, each no, other no. for a long time. <clears throat> I, oh. So. Did you? Are you just planning, wait, to go? Not, you don't want me to go with you? Or thought of it? Wow. You want to come to Space MIT with me? I thought that's what you were kind of asking, but it sounds like you're not. And I'm kind of now, wait, because I thought that's what you meant by aliens. You were bringing up aliens because we liked aliens. You know, you wanted me to go with you, but. I know how much you love that scene when the chest hugger escapes that man's chest and kills everyone <sighs> in the so room. Much, it was the cutest thing ever. It was just so, just adorable. That's what I just. Yeah. I've always wanted to be your chest hugger. But I don't know if you can come with me. I don't know if we can escape this mall. It's sort of the whole conceit of the game is that we're well, stuck I'll, here. I'll tell you this. If you just broke up with me to be alone in a mall forever, that's a big mistake on your part. But if we can leave this mall, did you ask what I wanted to do? Or did you just, again, like everybody else, just assume that I have just gone off the rails and not do anything and it's like, oh, Ren Hilda, you no longer visit Goth because you're just wearing I like colors and all this. And I guess that doesn't mean you, I, you know, I try to be like, you know, live in my environment. But you just leave. Okay, that's fine. Shit, BB, you're right. I haven't no. taken any of your emotions or feelings into consideration in this decision. I just assumed that all of this was for me. It was wrong. Uh, uh, I had the hiccups. I'm sorry. Uh, BB. You just have. I just feel very well. Oh, you didn't even ask me what I thought. What if we could make this right? What if I could ask you now? Wait. And he, he kind of moves in, and if she allows, he kind of <laughs> nuzzles up against her neck and starts purring gently. <laughs> like this cat is purring. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Listen, BB, I haven't asked before, but um what do you want to do? I Brain Hill. Or the Visigoths. Have of the decided. giants. Of the giants, yes. I wanted to be A 
stunt woman. I wanted to go to the gladiators of America and destroy all of the supposed champions. That's what I wanted. I wanted to go rain Terra and bring you along, but that, uh, but if we can do that in space, that means we could take over the world and beyond. But if you don't want that, then fine. Honestly, this is coming from left field. I never once thought you were gonna name drop American gladiators, but I'm so fucking here for it. Well, what else was I like? You were showing me everything. Yeah, I saw just... the I saw the Star Wars. I saw the Twilight. I saw the the Buffy uh, the Vampire Slayers. Uh, friends, I I have. How you doing? I'm yeah. doing good. Oh, I was. Jo Joey, don't share food. Joey, don't share food. <laughs> Joey don't share food. And Brill Henda does not share Apex. And Apex doesn't share bananas. Ah! He's a good boy. I'm gonna pick him up, by the way, and he's if you can wrap his legs. I'm gonna hold like hold. I fully straddle around Brunhilda and just while bury this my... while this war crime is happening, I'm gonna check <laughs> in with the energy. You! <laughs> That was incredible. Thank you both so much. But I'm going to check in. We're going to take that as your passageways because I think that happened outside of the store. Yeah. Um, my other team, is there anything you would like to accomplish in a passageway scene? Yes, probably. Yeah. Uh, okay. I was going to say, you can Sorry, roll. give me a second. Uh, <laughs> I, I have to segue to there. the next scene. Um, you can all have witnessed that because that happened outside of a store if you'd like to catch up mm. i want to say maybe we're on the are, are we heading back up to meet everybody um because i i, I want to say we saw this as we were going up the escalator uh, i kind of yeah. feel like we have yeah. like one more scene that we could all do in different stores before we all get together for the final scene okay maybe okay. you can do one more scene. If okay if like. we're still on the bottom floor for right now maybe we can just like look up and that's just happening because it's just it got really yeah. loud um yeah <laughs> Just loud sobs from Apex draw our eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's really nice that uh, I'm like standing next to Theo. It's really nice that uh, Apex and B have such a good relationship after all these years. Yes, that is true love. Hmm. Mm. Well, and you and uh, Lenore? It's so lucky. Uh, Lenore, she, she has the heart of a bard. Yes. Yes. That is the theater. Yes. That is. That is and the And you the are not the heart of the bard, right? Well. You say, so you're saying you don't dance? I do not dance. No, 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 no. I dance on the battlefield with You can dance if Just, you want to. <laughs> you can leave your friends behind. Mm. Well, Lenora oh. likes to dance. Yes, I've tried to dance for Lenore. Uh, but you know, it, it, it ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. I never know what you, what that means when you say that, but okay. Yeah. Um, well, the Snoop Dogg is a wise poet. I'm sure he is. Um, He's also has glorious hair. Glorious hair. Mm -hmm. And, uh, a team for whom he speaks. So I do not know. I feel like Lenore does not speak for any team. Maybe, maybe my heart will find her in the future. But I do not think her heart is mine now. Her heart is for the world. You can't be with the world with Lenore. You're just gonna spend your that's life a in a mall. The world—that's a lot for Theo. Theodananda. He's a little bit smaller. You're selling Theodananda, the person that freezes people with stones and shit, can't go outside? Theodananda has never tried. Two decks is close. Yes, sister. Have you tried to go outside? No, should we try it right now? Hmm. I'm not saying that's something that we need to to check off the box this instance, Look, but there's you know, a big flashing exit sign right there. What I'm saying is that Lenore is prepared to go out the door and is willing to be fearless about it. 
while they're Jeez, talking, I'm walking just... towards the door. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not what it looks like out there. <laughs> but you know, you could do it too. Well, my my battle is on the field of rugby. The field of rugby. Yes. Like playing rugby I've or like played. I do not know the rules. I just saw someone from a college and they said, "You are strong. You are violent." But rugby is played outside. See, this is the dilemma. No, this is this dilemma. No. I don't know. It sounds like you're making excuses and you're making Lenore really sad about it. And it just kind of brings the vibe down. And I've been trying to have a good summer. You know, I, I've been sorry. I'm just going to kind of like break off from this nice tone of it. I, I'm just trying. Um, I appreciate your kindness, but truly, I like the blunt speaking better. Fine. Okay. But you're fucking up your relationship with Lenore. And if you want to keep that relationship with Lenore and stop making Lenore look so sad and blue all the time, because it's really a drag. And I have to go look for Apex for entertainment and tell me, and let me tell you, it is not as fun as you think it is. Um, so if you really want, you know, the fuck this, I'll see her in the next life kind of shit. She's here now. So either break it off and let's get this bandaid over with or go out the door with her and go do rugby because rugby's a college thing and you know you both could do that you see what i'm saying do they have rugby at julie's yard <laughs> i don't know honestly hmm. but you, you can figure it out right i have been lying to lenore Oh. I have told her my heart is hers, but it is not. <sighs> and I do not know how to. What is the word? Break this up. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It's obvious you don't know how to do that. I would just say. Be honest, like be upfront. Tell be her that I do not love her, that my heart is not hers. I feel, mm, you know, poets have much eloquent ways of presenting arguments to people. I would suggest <sighs> consulting the poets on this and maybe find something that makes it a little bit more edible than my heart is no longer yours or I don't love, you know, because that just that mm. comes with the feelings. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. You could yes. also oh. simply murder her. My hands on the door. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. I would not hurt her feelings if I destroyed her body. I will destroy you if you hurt Lenore. Um, if anyone's going to destroy Lenore, it would be me. Um, so, yeah, no. Um, so, yeah, just um, I don't know what you have to do, but do it. And do it quickly because, you know, summer's running out, you know? I am doing this because I want to, not because you're telling me to. Mm, let's say that if it gets the job done. I'm going to go consult the poets. Theo, are you- Do get close! Be careful! Pushing the door open. Does anything happen? <laughs> If you oh you're at the you're at the exit of yeah, the wall. Like cobwebs on the door. I'm just pushing the door open. <laughs> Excellent. I should have known that this would come, and I should have known that it would come from you. <laughs> you are at the exit of the mall. It is a set of, like, three double doors, traditional, like, glass wall. You can see the outside. There is mountains, there's street, there's cars, there's stoplights, there's homes. You push the door open, and you feel the wind, the hot summer air. You walk outside? Do you walk outside? Mm, I'm not walking outside yet, but my hand is like out. Like, you know, I push the door open and I may be like, like from the elbow down, my hand is outside. You can feel it's hot. It's late August. It's, it's later. It's kind of night, but it's still hot. That's it. It seems fine. I don't see why we couldn't just walk out there. Look, my hand is still yeah, here. It's my hand is still here, right? Yes. Your hand is still here. You can see people parking and walking into the Everything mall. is fine. Look, the sun is shining bright. It is a beautiful day. Do you, 
Do you leave them all? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I feel like I feel like that it is uh, it is still early, and uh, that would be potentially. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I follow your heart. Follow your heart. Whenever you want to exit the mall, you have every right to do so. <laughs> but if you don't, we will go to scene five. Hell yeah. Um, we sounds like we we're going to split the party again. Where are we looking? It does look like we crossed out. We did absolutely cross out candles from the I list. I think we should go to games. Um, we should go to number six, the uh, games. the Darkade. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, that's left. Oh, and um, what can what store do you guys want to go to for games? You said Darkade. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet. Is that everybody, or are we splitting? Um, well, do, is there other places that we have to go? Food. You we need don't to do food. So I will say you did see um, uh, Floppy Joe and. Feta are both working on food. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So if you want to go back to those places, you can, but you have already seen, okay. like if you're, if information gathering is the priority, you've seen what's going on there. I'm still dressed like a girl's <laughs> glitter scout. I need to yes. <laughs> intercept one <laughs> of them. Hand out yes. this armor. Well, then, of... I, then I guess we all meet up then, right? <laughs> or play golf? For games too. Could go to play golf for games. We need to know what these little fuckers are doing before our last scene. So yeah, I think being true. all together is is better. In that's this fine. I think what we do is we follow whatever trail of glitter we find to the closest glitter yes. scout. Let's do I'm while we're that. still in. Oh my god, this is like let's... this is like that time when we were finding the scent. Remember, we got led outside to the horseshit. We we're just talking about yeah. it with Apex. What good times that was! You guys remember we stole those ponies and my dad disowned me. It was great. You do not need a father. You only need the wolf pack, and you have one. Yeah. Let's do a last thing we do in passageways. Let's do a team glitter check. I need everybody to roll two d six and add whatever modifiers you think are relevant, but feel free to explain mm. them. If I use haunt, can I contact the spirits to find me a glitter scout? <laughs> yes, you can. We're gonna uh, put a pin in that, but yes, you can. Apex uses his rockets to wire into the surveillance system of the mall and use hack electronics <laughs> nice. to to try and find some glitter scouts. That's a nine for okay. me. Theo elevates okay. once again to look down on the mall. <laughs> I know uh, what they look I, like. I'm going to use costumes to try and find them. Oh, I'm sorry, 11. Because I have a 5, a 4, a plus 2. Yeah, 11. I have an 11 as well. I have an I 8. 11. I have a eight. 9. I rolled nine. a 4. 4, Lenore, what did you say you guys? 5. 5. Excellent. Okay. Um, if your combined roll can beat them all, then I will say that you have what it takes to get to, I'm just gonna use a calculator because my brain. Fair. Um, oh, Zach, quick question. Yes. So I mm -hmm. can control animals and it says I cannot control humans in fursuits, but since these are little like demon kids, are they considered animals? Very, very good question. Um, I will say, as of now, as you understand it, children are not animals. <laughs> Got it. But I'm not going to shoot that down. Got it. I don't think so at all. That's I think not there will a be no. an opportunity for that. It's not a no. It's not a no. But um, you guys not did absolutely beat them all. Um, you can see a clear trail of glitter heading towards the dark gate. Let's go. And we're headed dark there. Gate. Yeah. Excellent. You all head in the Darkade. There are several things you see when you get there. The first thing, of course, is um, Thaco, who is a um, sort of mixed Guatemalan and Black um, 
boy with a shirt with three wolves on it. Uh, he is terrified out of his mind and just sort of standing behind the counter. You see Scoutmaster Pebble, who is um, against the wall, hanging some sort of poster that only seems relevant to the Glitter Scouts. It is, of course, covered in purple puffy paint and glitter um, with the same sort of like double talk that made the shopping list. You see three or four Glitter Scouts that are already losing their minds. The mall has started to close, which means it's their time. They are getting rowdy in this arcade. Um, and you also see a woman in the in the back, sort of against the wall, um, just surveying all of this. And she looks very well off. She looks put together. She doesn't look scared. Um, but these sort of separate things are all happening at once. What do you guys do oh first? God, they've already started the ritual. We must stop them. Well, they don't have that any we... candles. That's for damn sure. That they we... got Thaco. What do we do? What do we do? Uh... That one in the back. That one. I'm going for that one. <sighs> okay. I'm going to, like, not, like, be... I'm just going to, like, work my way through the arcade. Okay, be your beelining for the woman in the back. Anyone else going with you? Well, Apex is still straddling B. He has not stopped this whole way through. Ah, so yes, he's... I must drop you. Sorry. Good. Oh, Good. he's going to stay on your chest for as long as you let him. Aww. Oh, oh. <laughs> Scary of a cross. Uh, I'll hold you as long as you want to be held. Like, yeah. you can go down he... anyone. He goes with you to chase this woman. Okay. You got Excellent. this, baby. Kill her ass. Destroy her. Kill her. End her life. Make I sure shall, she's dead forever. I shall tear into ass. Yes. Ah, I'm well, just... we better go with her. I'm just going to approach the front counter. <laughs> I'm going to become invisible. Excellent. Uh, Lenore, where are you going? Uh, I'll, I'll go with Bliss to the front counter. Okay, beautiful. Um, we'll do the front counter first. Thaco is, uh, like I said, absolutely terrified just watching this. Um, <coughs> hey, hey guys, what What can I do? Are they you? starting their evil ritual in here? Is that what's going on? They're, they're doing something weird. I've never seen it before. I've never, I mean, I've seen hyper kids, right? They're in here all the time, but this is something else. Is there, I what's, write, sorry, uh -huh. what, what's written on the um, poster that they put up? you see um it's continued double talk but it's uh Didica Munica, Willica, Rizica, Utica Genica. So the moon will rise again. The moon what could that mean? Again. Yeah. Huh. Oh. They plan What's... to bring the moon gods here. Are they all werewolves or something? Oh. <gasps> Guys, I don't know if I can be around here when the moon rises. You know how I get Look, I can split them up right now. I've got a bag full of fireworks still that I could just throw at them. Do you, do you think that'll help? I mean, we don't we don't care. We have a vacuum. Like, do whatever you need to do. I mean, <laughs> Bliss, you cool with that? I'm, I'm just going to light them up. Slide them up, yeah. I'm going to take, like, a, one of those long strings of firecrackers and light, line up one end and throw it at them. Get out of here, you little glitter shits! And just throw it at them. <laughs> you throw... Oh, that's incredible. You throw bombs at children uh -huh. and uh, roll for me and add your, um, I don't know, I think you only have, add a plus three. I have, I have a plus two tech. to pyrotechnics, but I'll take a plus three. Yeah. You're there you go, high. alpha bitch. Alpha bitch. That's seven total. <laughs> Incredible. Alpha bitch. Um, <laughs> I will say <laughs> of the four glitter scouts, you distract three of them. Uh, you've, Litter this place in glitter, and they are like a fay to spilled rice just into it. So I'll, I'll um, run up to the one that remains and be like, Hey, I'm actually one of you. Can you tell me what you guys are doing? <laughs> I just wanted to distract the other ones, but you're the really the tough one. That I wanted to talk immaculate. About. You turn around, the this this little purple person turns around, and it is Maisie from before, and they are different. I'm like sweating their bullets hair. and they don't recognize me. But you're they, they, are different. Also, they look different? They look different. They are equally sweaty as you, which is helpful, but they their hair is messed up. They they're covered in different purple like markers and glitter and what? shit. 
um, and they turn to you and their eyes are like, their pupils are so big. It's like a sugar rush you've never seen. Hey, do you have an ecstasy They're... connection? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? No. What's, what's the deal here? What, like, how do I get like you? You want to get like this? You want this? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, you just wait. You just wait. Okay, uh, so I, first... while I'm waiting, what's the big plan? What happens once we've all gotten like you? You stay around. Midnight comes. And it'll all get real. It's your first lock-in, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did... Yeah, you smell fresh. <laughs> does the, does oh! the moon come oh! out or something? Oh, yeah, the moon comes out all right. <laughs> uh. it's, it's like nothing you've ever fucking seen in your life. And once this 12-year-old says fucking, uh, Scoutmaster Pebble turns around and says, none of that language now. But they're... <laughs> Pupers are also equally blown out and they are equally fucked up looking. They're like sweating oh, God. in this darkade. Um, they're also like hunched over like a pinball machine that is clearly like from a time that this is their their mall goth era activity. Um, and they're like, it's it's almost time. There is a table of like chili and cheese in the corner. And this woman, again, is still unbothered. Um, but they, uh, Maisie looks up at you and says, do you know what to do? Do you know what the plan is? No, tell me what the plan is. Okay, so we wait till midnight, right? Have you been eating candy? You've been, oh, yeah. you've been getting Plus, strong, right? Candy. Yeah, I'm all good, hopped up. Good, Get fucking stronger, right? Once it's midnight, we're gonna find the air conditioner. <laughs> and we're gonna break it. <laughs> and they fucking maniacally laugh in a like skit this is probably the scariest thing you've ever heard you've heard like layered special effects on people like doing vo before this is way worse okay so um sounds great uh, quick question for you though as a newbie why mm. break the ac because wouldn't that close the mall and don't we want to be the new heads of the mall but it's gonna close the mall Everyone's going to leave, right? By the time the mall reopens, no one even knows what the mall is anymore. And it's our time. We'll get in and we'll take it over. We'll make it ours. These stupid goths will be gone by then. School's starting. We can do whatever we want. Guess what? I'm a bitch goth. And I'm just going to punch the kid in the face. <laughs> and <just run. laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna put content warning on it. <laughs> I, I, I might get an automatic uh, hurt feeling, I think, when I engage in I, physical combat. Yes, yes. Uh, fighting does automatically mean a hurt feeling for you and a hurt feeling for Maisie. I, yeah, I'm, I'm just All like pushing stress. her, getting up off of my knees and running like a normal person back to uh, Bliss to tell her what I've discovered. I, oh, Bliss is what watching you... this. <laughs> okay, well, they're gonna destroy the AC. Good. Well, now we know, and really, Lenore punching a child. <laughs> I got swept up in the moment. <laughs> Go find the rest of them. <laughs> Maisie's like covering her nose and is looking to her distracted uh, glitter scouts, and she goes, Hey, it's Pebble season. <laughs> While this was happening, I was doing something invisibly. Can I see if it happened? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go. What were you doing? I, since he was putting up the sign and doing his whole thing, I was hoping to um, invisibly, <laughs> invisibly grab the pot of chili and dump it behind him so that he falls when he tries to get away. Nice. When Pebbles tries to get away? Yeah. Oh, Brilliant. Yeah. Um, honestly, my boy is not at the top of his game. Go ahead and roll for me. Ten. Perfect. He rolled a six. So uh, you fully <laughs> spill this vat of chili onto the floor of the arcade. <laughs> um, and when Maisie says, seize him, Pebble goes, oh my God, and immediately banana peels, <laughs> slapstick comedy slips. And it's like the people that slip and they fight for their lives on the way down instead of just giving up. This man almost pulls a muscle in his back trying not to fall. Can I, oh. can I take the spears of Brittany and just kind of just do a little like leg flip to make sure he goes down? Yeah, yeah, you you trip his ankle. That's it. He hits the chili with a depressing slap that carpet should not make. 
and we're going to cut to those of you that were approaching the women, the woman in the back of the room. She's up against the wall. Yo, what are you doing here? This is, this is my mall. What do you mean? What's your, what is your name? I have a lot of names. That's not really important. Uh, but I'm, I am the mall boss, I suppose, is what people call me here. What are your names? Well, that is not important. Since you won't give me yours, I'll give you mine. Well, what should I call you? I'm Apex Bone Gnaw. Excellent, thank you, Apex. You may call uh. me Brittany. Bitch. Okay. And my name, and I expect you to call me this in full, is to dig this close. Say that back to me. Who digs this close? It's not that hard. <laughs> Brittany. Oh, damn. Now, Brittany. Is your last name bitch? Or was that for me? It is to you, bitch. Yes. <laughs> oh, bitch was for me. Okay. That's fine. Well, I said yes to both, but yes. Okay. Well, Miss Bitch, uh, through Deskis Close and Apex, what can I do for you? You don't look like Glitter Scouts. Neither do you. You do not look like a Glitter Scout. You look like a creeper in the corner. That's why I'm asking, who the fuck are you? I'm not. I'm in charge of the mall. This is all mine. Everything you see is mine. Everything the glitter touches. Exactly. Everything the glitter touches. Yeah. Mm. I'm just here to make sure that no one gets hurt. Too badly. You tell me. And then me, she looks. You tell me that you're Mrs. Mall. Yes, yes, that's me. And she gestures to herself. She's very much giving Miss Frizzle. She has like freckles and like um, very extravagant sort of twee era fashion. Uh, Do they have um, anything on themselves? Like I don't know, bag or anything that. They have like a like a Gucci bag, um, hmm. but what are you what are you looking for? See if they got weapons. <laughs> That's the only way. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a it's a larger bag. Like it's not like a purse. This is a day bag. Oh, so that's a weapon. Uh, Reasonably name, inferable. There's a weapon. Name at least two stores if you're in charge of this place. Okay, well for the Darkade and Sebastian's Catholic gifts, I could name all the stores. Okay. What do now you when mean? you say own, what do you mean by own? It belongs to me. You have the title, the deed. What lord or baron assigned you this land? And prove it, because I don't see it. I could say I own them all. I don't believe that. She snaps her fingers, oh. and a scroll <laughs> rolls, appears out of thin air, and unfurls in her hands. That is a full, like, illuminated manuscript deed to Well, the that Great. looks pretty What's official. On the Shit. BB, what? you remember I told you about that Clinton administration? I think that's this. Mm. <laughs> so, because they un uh, unravel the scroll, what's the name on there that I see? The name literally just says the mall boss. Bitch. The mall boss. <laughs> All right, so Mrs. Boss. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking around and you like uh, you, you're okay with all of the you're all okay with all of, with, with, with these people messing up your mall you're just fine with that yes like I said I've been here since the mall first opened this is not the first time a bunch of small color coordinated demons destroy the mall it opens up again and it's fine it's a circle of life wow it was like the matrix so you're just done now well what happens to us if once this mall gets destroyed and closed. Exactly. I don't, I don't know. I assume you guys are the goths, right? Yeah. There's the two Some. opposing. Okay, so you're the two opposing forces that keep them all together. Eventually, more of you will come. So, we're not it? You think you're the last ones to be in the mall? Yeah. Uh, it's our mall. Not... Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, not unless someone destroys them all. But if it lives on, there will be more goths. There will always be more goths. But not like us. Well, not exactly, but close enough. Yeah. Listen, it's nothing to be sad about. It's just natural. You can always come back. It's just... 
It's time for a new generation. I, I, I think I literally can't leave this area too much. Oh, did you try to leave? Did any of you try to leave? I put oh. my hand out the door and look at me. I'm fine, so you'll forgive me if I'm a little skeptical of your whole shtick. Did you walk outside? No, but look, my arm is still here. Yes. You you were in the mall. I'm your soul is in the mall. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and walk out. I'm gonna like stare for a second and not move, and I'm gonna go ahead and just go and start walking out towards the exit. Where where's where's she going? I want to say something. Well, BB, what are you thinking? I'm gonna say something. What if you like straight up die, like instantly fucking die? What'd this lady tell you? I'm curious. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead towards the exit. Mm -hmm. Lenore, she's it. Her. She's the boss. What'd she say? What happens if B walks out that door? I don't know. Uh, I think we all like poke our heads out the yeah. store to see what I, happens. I, I, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go. I'm gonna go ahead and I I will see because uh, you walk out the mall because I I'll be like. Well, it, it, I want to go to the East Coast. I have to go with that, so I have to leave. Anyone can leave the mall whenever they'd like. Is that what you're doing? Can I come back in? If you come back, you won't be the same as when you left. Mm. Ah. Well, you but could've... you can leave. You'll come back, you'll see your friends again, but you will be changed. I do want to say I am still kangaroo pouched on my woman. So both of you are leaving? If BB decides to go, then that's when we go. We uh, gotta go to space. I, 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 I won't go until you want to go. Hmm. Decide. Do you want to go? Well, we don't have to go now. We can go later. I, I think if we're not the only ones, if we're not the only goths, and we got to do what we got to do for our goth time in our goth world. Uh, so we got to stop these here. stupid little fucking 12-year-olds. We got to kill every last one of them. <gasps> oh. Are we doing our own... S ah, final night? Final night? Final Should night, we, final we pillage. we just burn the place to the ground? Burn it all to the fucking <laughs> ground. Okay, let's Village? go back here. Let's go kill, let's go defeat the children and then we can go leave. Ragnarok! Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna I just kill every clarify. last one of them. B, did you clap your hands and yell final night out loud? <laughs> no. Yes, you did. Is that a rule? You did. 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 I look like you did. Is that a rule? Sure that that I just want to make sure you're standing by your behavior. Yes, I am. Is that what you did? I did. Excellent. I forgot. Is that a thing that we do here? And I realize it is. <laughs> it's yes, about I to did. be a thing. Um, oh, so you did. I'm so sorry, guys. The no, mall. No, I love it. This is fun. The mall, as we've known. What a beautiful place we're in right now. Oh, no. I the mall, that. as we've known, has been filled with mall goths and Visigoths alike. You say final night. Theo says pillage. And you... You feel like a telepathic connection of every Visigoth in the mall. Going pillage? <laughs> pillage. Do you approve? <gasps> Do you say pillage back? Pillage! Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Gang. I'm still a Visigoth. Gang. You smell fire. Almost immediately. Oh no. <laughs> Almost immediately. You smell fire. You hear things being thrown around as people are closing. It is the last like 10 minutes of people's shifts. It is natural to burn down the store that you're in at the end of a retail shift. <laughs> people have to actively resist this, but you have given them permission with your pillage command. And they are burning down the mall. Oh my gosh. I don't the mall glitters us. I don't think the AC is going to stand up to this. This is our, no. this is really it. Now, what is everyone else doing? The mall, the mall boss just looks around and says, this 
could have happened at any time. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I think I'm sitting with my goth friends, my, um, my mall goth friends, and I'm just kind of like, you know, they've, they've told me what they learned from the mall boss, and I'm just like, I don't know, I guess maybe we just hang out and drink an Orange Julius until this all blows over. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think I spend a lot of time near Bliss and uh, Lenore, but I do think Apex is trying to bite every nearest 12 year old as often <laughs> as he possibly can. Yeah, I'll just... probably try to sling a glitter bomb at one or two of them. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, we're just, no. but we're not, we're not putting any real effort no, to it. We're no. just like, <laughs> we're, we're drinking like halfway through the killings. And... Mayday nice roleplay does not endorse the, does not endorse the murder of children. No, 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 no. Just the glitter bombing of them. There is no death. Children are not being. The children are still alive. There is no They are being here, really. incensed by glitter or potentially knocked out by the impact. biting the but shit out of them. I'm doing like there are, Harley Quinn birds of play, just like throwing glitter and just slow mo hitting them, and it's like exploding. As as we approach midnight, our goths and visigoths are walking and enjoying smoothies. As the mall burns down around them, and several feral 10 to 12 year olds clad only in purple and glitter are feeding off of this energy. They are screaming, shrieking, throwing things, having a blast. Adam. And the mall boss is just standing next to you all, completely content. Well, that's, I didn't expect it from all of you, but I'm so glad that it was all of you. Well, I guess we figured if we can't beat him, join him and just enjoy our last night, you know? Yes. You said it yourself. Exactly. It, it was over, so. You must leave things Final. better for the people who come after. Yeah. Final night. We all gotta grow up sometime in our thousand year existence in the interdimensional liminal space that is this mall. <laughs> exactly. I'm so glad you get it. Shall we all go one last time and that will put us in passageways oh. before our final scene are they is, are they gesturing to the exit door they they do start to walk towards the exit no yeah. it is the opposite side of the mall you're gonna have to walk through the carnage that you have initiated sure. but it's safe Theo is actively throwing children and casting levitate on them and throwing children <laughs> and casting levitate on them <laughs> Hey, Theo, can I talk Excellent. to you real quick while you're doing that? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can keep going. You know, I just, I just want to say that, you know, I've, uh, it's been really nice last couple years with you. Yes. But I don't know, I'm just not getting the feeling that you really want to keep this going. So I'm just going to go off to school and we can be friends. And it's really not that big of a deal, you know. No. Yeah. That is okay. I was not expecting to be with you for the rest of my life, if I'm being honest. <laughs> oh, and I, I totally wasn't expecting to be with you for the rest of my life at all. Yeah, totally. Um, all right, as cool. The poets say, as the poets say, moving on is easy. But what you leave behind is what makes it hard. From the taiga. I, I knew that, of course. Yeah. All right, cool. Yes. All right, well, cool being in a relationship you with you. make out in this carnage? One last time. Oh, yeah, sure, of course, yeah. Right. <laughs> we hardcore make out on the way to the... As the fire is coming down in <laughs> slow-mo. I pull away every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Little children floating around us. Beautiful. I want to check in with... Um, I imagine Apex is still on B. Um, yeah, yeah. Still... Oh, you could be chasing the kids, or I haven't... Yeah, we we've just been killing. Uh, I mean, beating nope. up twelve year olds this whole time. Okay, I kind of just okay. been throwing a lot of glitter bombs. And it's just yeah. really pretty with the fire and all that. So that's where it's like. Okay. Um, I I do think Apex is gonna first check in with the other goths. He's gonna go to Bliss and Lenore once we we get some time away. And he rushes up and he's he's just he's got a, two twelve year olds in each hand. Uh, and as he comes up to him, he just fucking launches them across <laughs> the mall. And, Gets up close to the two of you. He's deep in heavy breaths. Guys, holy shit, this is great, right? We always know how to make it go out with a bang. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Style. Yeah. Listen, 
I just wanted to tell you both that, like, for a while there, it really mattered to me that I was number nine out of a three-person group. <laughs> you worked well, hard. Look, it really... You worked hard to where you got, you know? Yeah. And I was thinking earlier today, it kind of sucks I never got to number two, but, like, I realized I don't really care. I like being the third f uh, of us. I like being with all of us. I love both of you, and I know that our time and whatever the fuck this was is coming to an end, but I don't think I would have spent it with any better people than I would with you two. I look at uh, Bliss, and then I look at Apex, and I'm like, look, if it's any consolation, you were always the number one, number three person in my heart. Same. That means so much to me. I don't really understand it, but it means so much. Hey, you know, I'm also going to be on the East Coast, too, so we could totally hang out. Yeah, you two should totally come up to our space station. It has a mall in it. Bliss, you could ride your, your broom. It just, I'm going to the East Coast, too, so yes, we're going to see each other. We're just not going to see each other as often. God. <laughs> yeah. I just, I'm going to miss you constantly putting me down and hurt my self-esteem and make me think differently about myself in the mirror. Well, yeah, this is the FaceTime exists, and I can always call you if you need the occasional put-down. I, if that's what you need, you know. That's true. What? So you'll call, and you'll tell me I'm lumpy? Yes. That's what okay. number ones do. Yeah. It's fine. I always got you. <laughs> All right, this is way too much emotions for a bunch of goths, yeah, okay? Uh, no. Yeah. Can I? Is a goths? How are you doing? <clears throat> I, I, I'm going to approach the others with a child hanging at the end of Britney Spears, but it's, <laughs> but wait, it's nothing like, I'm not killing them. I'm just giving them the pale. super- Dude, gotta, I'm gotta just, be got, careful. No. <laughs> no, 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 it's a super wedgie. I have them by the- Oh, good, good, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, cool. That's I'm watching them wiggle. I'm like, <laughs> Check this out. I think I have created a new ultimate megatonic pyro wedgie. That is violent. Now watch this. Yeet! I'm gonna flick oh. into the exit. <laughs> you wait, wait. <laughs> Darcy exit. They're fine. I just throw this. Throw them through. Can <laughs> you throw them through? Do you throw, throw them, them through? through? Do you throw, throw them through? Them through. Throw them we'll know through. what happens. Yes, I know. Yeah, throw. Well, yeah, yeah, through. Through. <laughs> yeah, through. Oh, yeah, they're going outside. Everyone's leaving, so throw them out. My God, please roll two d six for me. <laughs> Everybody or just Amanda? Amanda. <laughs> okay. It is her <laughs> sin. Oh, but wait. Uh, I, I have a ten because I have a point in spear. Immaculate. Immaculate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, so shit. you I... throw you throw this 12-year-old <laughs> through <laughs> toss. How's that? Through a no. revolving door. Gentle yeah. Through a, through <laughs> a <laughs> door. They leave. Oh man, gang. Okay. I we already gonna I'm gonna have to build the trigger warnings for this, so it's fine. You they you throw them through it, and as the door opens. They're automatic doors, so they sense the warm body coming to, towards the door. The door opens, and as soon as their body leaves the building, they sort of um, turn to dust, like uh, like the snap. Oh! Um, and they are oh! gone. I will say for everyone's hearts that it is not death that it is not painful, but they are gone. It kind of just seems like they sort of teleported somewhere else. Whoa. Um, oh. At that, the mall boss says, oh no, um, they were not supposed to be the first ones through the door. We were sort of, um, uh. I I'm gonna start it again and it's gonna be right. I don't know where they went, but we, we wa it won't be that. I thought we were gonna go through first. Yes. Like that Apex matters? becomes obsessed and starts throwing more. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but why? Why? Whoa! 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 Where did they go? If I could pile uh, on, through digs as close as now, running around the mall trying to whip all of the other Visigoths into throwing kids out the door. 
Amazing. Everyone that's throwing kids out the door, can you please roll 2d6? Oh, I was waiting for Miss Maul's, like, actual explanation. That's what I thought. <laughs> I was waiting for the rules. The rest of us just want to have fun. Yeah. yeah they, that's what's actually while, like, while you all are rolling, she explains, uh, so, like, I, like you all seem to understand, the mall is its own dimension, but when you leave, um, most people don't have a choice of where they go. I decide where they go. Uh, I didn't decide for them. I decided for us, so I don't know where they went. Oh, that they sucks. Probably went, want... They probably went where you wanted us to go. So do you want us to go get them and throw them back? <laughs> we should <laughs> go through that <laughs> door. Oh. <laughs> As kids are going through the door, they are all sort of, like, wait, wait. fading away. Um, Brent Hilda's confused, guys. Are we throwing the children or are we getting the children? I just wanted to keep on theme. <laughs> We're just heading. Mall bosses, we should probably stop throwing the kids. I mean, like, they're not dying, but I don't know where they go. Yes, oh, let's, let's. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, Apex, I, Apex. It's, it's too easy. They're just children. We have to actually aim higher. Sorry, sorry. I just toss them aside. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go? Are we okay? Yes, let's go yes. save those little shits. Sorry for breaking okay. your mall, mall boss. Yeah, I'm not it's fine. Home. It's okay. This is normal. Every couple of years, someone burns down the mall, right? Let's go. And as you all in slow mo together walk through the doors of the mall for the last time, we fade to white. I'm going to grab Apex hand and the boy. Are we all dead? Are we dead? You are not all dead, but you have exited the mall. And that is where we will end our story. Wow. Uh, what, oh man, I thought we were- What a mind-bending conclusion to this. <laughs> yeah. Shout for out to Zach Gosford. for dealing with hurting these kittens. <laughs> this was not, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Was that, was that not planned? This is not? <laughs> oh, oh, shit! No, no, oh, oh, shit! There's a bullet! We ain't done yet. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so happy. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, wait. The show. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, uh, <laughs> obviously, we have a Twitter and an Instagram and a Patreon. We're called Mayday Roleplays, so type those words in with the words I just yeah. said, and you'll find those things. Please all, support us. All of our shows are exactly like this one. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zach, for putting up with this. Thank you, Zach, for <laughs> letting you, Zach. us yeah, ruin your day. Thank you, Zach. That was I'm incredible. So I want us I'm to have so like happy. a counter for every inaccurate non '90s like thing, yeah. like those pop up videos. <laughs> like, <whoop. laughs> I'm so happy. If you are, if you are interested in seeing more things like this, like I said, please can consider uh supporting our patreon my god um and we will be back with more ridiculous absurdist things like this as much as we can uh thank you all i believe this is coming out on valentine's day or at least it around is on it. valentine's day yes <laughs> true romance Great. hug yeah. hug the bee in, in your life hug the apex in your yeah. life hug the apex in your life <laughs> shout out to all those lovers the alphas and the sigmas among them <laughs> <laughs> yes yes um, shout out to all the packs out there. Have a good Valentine's Day. Um, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Bye. Bye. So sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Yo.